Okay, we're doing a quick audio check. Chatters who are here, can you hear me? Can you hear the music? Forgot about not being a sub, Lamau. Imagine not being a piece in underscore art sub. Okay, give me five minutes. Holy. I think I'll just keep mic on during the starting soon screen. I think I want to try that out for a little bit. Okay, wait. Hi, Luigi. Welcome in. We're gonna chill for like five minutes and wait for you. Dude, I am so scared. Hello, Cokes. Welcome in. Hello. We're trying something new for the five minute for, for the first five minutes. I'll keep mic on and then I'll like say hi to everybody. Everybody, if you're just coming in, and if you're watching on desktop, please download the 7TV extensions. Hey yo, hey buddy. I didn't add the Halloween ones. I'm going to try and add them tonight. So chatters, download those extensions. That way you can have emotes until we can get affiliate. Argue. Stonks down? What is that called? Not stonks. Did I have that enabled? Oh, I did. I was looking for a negative stonks emote like last night, but I didn't realize I had one. Lol. Dude, so many people are here already. I'm getting nervous. Y yeah, you can't gift her because I'm not affiliate, you dummy. Wait, I can't curse in the first five minutes. Oopsie. <laughs> yeah, people pog first stream. Guys, we're clickbaiting. We're farming. Oh, wait. Chatters, chatters. If you're a sub in my main chat, you can use your sub emotes here. I would love to see my normal emotes here. <clears throat> see. Two more minutes. Cursing world record. That you're pretty cool. I mean, what what's the most curses you could say in a minute? Wait, let's not let's let's nobody try that, please. Please nobody try that. <laughs> Is that an actual picture of your desk? Obvi. Yes, it is. The The graphic that's on screen, I made myself. I should be a product photographer. I considered doing that in school, like doing photography. But I feel like photography is a lot less artsy when compared to other art-based careers. I think it's kind of basic. Looks clean. I know it's a mess right now. Dude, it's so weird not seeing sub emotes in chat. It feels sad. 30 more seconds. Yeah, guys, I don't spill shit on my desk. Like, I'm very clean. I paint on this desk, and it's nice because it's faux wood with varnish on it. So if I spill paint on it and it dries, I can just, like, scratch it off. It's pretty cool. <laughs> 10 seconds. Hole puncher. Yeah, that's the mini one. It's like a 2 millimeter hole. Trying not to make jokes. Three, two, one. Hello, okay. This is a new setup. It feels... Okay, I, I'm gonna keep looking over here. Because you can see, like, my laptop over here. My setup... It took me, no joke, like, two hours to get everything... I need... I'm listening to... <laughs> I'm listening. Okay, so you know how you guys are listening to Nintendo music? Oh, VOD watchers? Just so you know, I'm gonna add this to my about page as well. VODs will hopefully not include music because if I want to use these for like speed pace or like re-uploading content, I can't have the music in. So VOD watchers, if you're gonna watch, you can vibe and like listen to your own shit, I guess. Yeah, poggies. Um, if okay, if anybody in chat, I feel like everybody here or watching has come over from my main channel. I haven't gotten any followers that are, um, not from my main, which is fine, which is, like, the plan. But what was I gonna say? Yeah, it took me, like, two goddamn hours to get this setup done. Be <laughs> desk reveal. Because, like, I had to shift everything back, like, a foot and a half in order to get, like, this wide angle and have it fit nicely. Um, you can... S it was so hard to, like, find an angle where it didn't catch the second camera in. This feels like BTS, yeah. You can actually... I, I can't move my laptop. It's literally gonna knock everything over. Because 
my the floor in my room is tilted that's why my normal setup the desk is forward about a, a foot and a half but in order to get the wide angle i had to shift everything towards the wall back here so i have clay i have polymer clay under my desk so this doesn't move because this will like teeter um what else can i say <clears throat> okay so to give new chatters a brief overview of what this channel is going to be Sorry, there's a train going by, and I can... I have my tripod for this camera on my bed. That's a, that's where I have to put it to get this angle. So I'm really scared. I'm going to knock it down. Five head mood. <laughs> Dude, do I not have people clap? Wait, hold. I don't have... Okay, someone remind me to add people clap. Dude, okay. Hold. I need to fix. I felt I spelled follow wrong in that command. That's gonna bother me. I'm fixing it literally right now. Dude, that's so cringe. What what emo should I put instead? I should do people paint. Okay, I'm fixing that bot command now. Today's gonna be a little bit scuffed, but not nearly as scuffed as my first stream on my main channel was. This is going to be. As smooth as I can make it. At, I can't add people clap. Wait, I probably can't. <laughs> Wait, Acker, are you even watching on desktop? I don't think you can even see them. Okay, I'm, ad I'm adding people clap before chatters get annoying. Even though you guys are already annoying normally. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Hi, Deacon. People, hey, welcome in. This, Yeah, this is the art camp setup. It's gonna go crazy. Uh, oh, damn it. I'm, okay, because since I have two accounts now, I have to sign out. Sign into my art account. It's going to take three clicks. Ay, Dio mío, no puedo hacerlo. Oh, that's a BTB Global. Well, I guess you found one of them, bad er, coax. Okay, I think I added it. Chatters, yes, I added it. Yay, I did it. I did, I did it. <laughs> I came to be annoying because I have time for us. Well, I'm glad you're here, Deacon. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Gage. Okay, okay. So, enough stalling. For anybody who's new, this is my new second channel. Solely for art content. Mainly because if I did art on my main, my channel would die. So, we are here. The goal is, the plan is simple, to do at least one painting a week. My main art style is abstract or pattern work, so I, I don't really know. Okay, not that I don't know how to know, it's just I'm, I hate doing realism. So on this channel, we're going to solely do abstract or illustrative or, um, I guess, modern art type. So for the first month or two, we're essentially going to make different sketch cards into fully fleshed acrylic paintings so in the future we'll have chat decide between two cards and we'll do polls but for now i think <clears throat> i think i want to do this card first today because i think this one is a really nice easy piece to start getting into it it's a nice accent piece as well so we're going to do this card for today I want to drop subs. Not yet. Chatters. I have a command for that. Let's see. This is a mod only command. Um, once this channel gains 50 followers and averages three viewers, we can be eligible for sub emotes, channel points, and more. So the best way to support is to watch the lives and follow my art social media accounts. On IG, it's peacein underscore art underscore. Twitter, it's peacein underscore art. That is your best place. Hi, Lemon. Why are you crying? First time chat message Meg cry times four. Why? <laughs> well, welcome in, Lemon. I don't have to ask you guys his pronouns because I know everybody in chat. This is wild. This is weird. It's weird. Starting a stream with viewers. Dude, imagine if my TikTok popped off and then I streamed with five viewers on my first stream. That'd be insane. Sorry, I didn't mean to say the viewer count. That was awkward. Okay, it feels weird. To keep looking this way. I wish... Mm, I can't move my computer over here because I'd have to move everything. So, 
Um, setup might change over the next few weeks just so I can see which works best until if we do move out. I, yeah, because the command's mod only. I, I literally just said that. We're all friends here. Parasocially, of course. Imagine, yeah. Okay, so chatters, chatters, if you're just coming in, whoa, I'm sliding because my floor is slanted. You need a keyboard? It's my laptop. Do you not see my laptop right here? My nice Alienware M17 $2,500 laptop? Y'all can actually see my setup. <clears throat> okay, so today we are painting this sketch card but onto a 12 by 16 canvas. You guys want to see the the art cam? You guys want to see the art cam? Oh, wait. You can't you shouldn't see the timer yet. <laughs> Peace like too rich. No, I'm I'm going to be rich, right? Uh type one in chat if you're going to buy my art. Be honest. <laughs> be honest, chat, be honest. <laughs> yeah, this channel goes crazy. I hate when I have to reach you. Okay, so we have our second camera. You can kind of see my camera in this POV. Oopsie, I couldn't get it to fit otherwise. Seven on poor me too. Oh, I was going to ask you guys today, if we do unlock channel points, how many channel points is a full painting worth? I think 100k channel points for like a $200 painting. You can chat yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. You're actually going to sell the art? Yes. Um, hopefully by January, if not by spring, um, <laughs> I'll have a website and like, I'm looking at different like third party hosting websites that I can have my, like basically like a blog and a shop set up. So hopefully by January, if not spring, I'll have like significant enough money or income to support a PO box where I can safely mail things out to people and not leak my address. Okay, like VIP price, dude, a billion? That'd be crazy. <laughs> okay, now, so how streams are gonna go is I'm gonna paint. Chat can talk to each other or ask me questions throughout the stream. We do have hashtag AMA today, so ask me anything within reason, mind you, within reason, and I will answer it. If you're here from the main channel, welcome in. If you are a new chatter and if you want to chat, all you gotta do is follow the stream and hang out for 10 minutes and they can chat all you want. <clears throat> oh yeah, uh, how much is international shipping? Like 50 bucks? Cause like the way I see, I need to sharpen my pencil before we get started. Um, the, oh fuck. I need to bring my, I need to move my trash can over here. The way I see pricing paintings, I would want to, <laughs> I would want to include shipping in the cost. Cause like if I'm charging 250 to 300 for a painting, Obviously, I can afford to drop 25 bucks in shipping. That's just my opinion. Because, like, you know the shipping and handling fees? They're actually scamming you. Fees are too scammed. Okay, I need to sanitize my hands because I touched the trash can. <clears throat> Yo. Woo, new chatters. Ma check new chatters. Because Amazon's like pit <laughs> ah! <laughs> I inhaled the sanitizer. Oh wait. Um one thing I wanna clarify. Oh my god, thank you for the follow, Sylveon! Wait, Chatters, did you guys see the alert on screen? Yeah, you should have. You should you should have seen the alert, right? Okay, anyway, anyway. No? Fuck. Well, I'll I'll troubleshoot that later. Okay. Oh yeah, I was dropping my pencil. Guys, I'm so nervous. I was looking at chat shit. No, I have a trap. I literally just said, I'm going to grab my trash can. I got up from my chair and I brought the trash can here. I said, I'm sanitizing my hands because I touched the trash can. My trash can is like right off here, off screen. I'm not disgusting. <laughs> trash can. No, if, if we had trash can POV, it literally would be foot cam. I ain't doing foot cam. 
I specifically made my camera angle so we would not have foot cam. Although we do have, okay, the only thing I was kind of self-conscious about is um the way that this setup is. You can see like my torso. So we almost had um ASS cam, but thankfully my desk covers it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to move. This is a bin of water. It's a, it's a gorgonzola container. Ain't that cool? Huh? Yeah. Oh my god, does anybody know who Kyuko is? She was doing art and she had like <laughs> three cameras. And one of them was like... It was called the behind the scenes angle. And <laughs> it was basically just an angle of like her sitting in her chair but just like ass POV. And it was so funny. Because like, I think Kyuko, like she's... I really like cozy streamer. She does a lot of art streams. But she does farm a lot and I think it's so funny. Trash game reveal? No. I don't want you guys to see what's in my trash. Oh, those paintbrushes look soft. Yeah, these are new ones. These wider brush ones are new. <clears throat> I kind of want to dust them on my face. That's kind of weird. Mods, keep an eye on Deacon. Trash can POV so we, we can see when you throw shit away. Dude, you guys are weird. You guys are weird. Yeah, I don't like the feeling of brushes. That's why I don't think I could ever do makeup. It's a sensory issue for me. Okay, so here's a new pack of panels. These aren't canvases. These are <clears throat> painting panels. So the difference is they are one way cheaper than a stretch canvas. And I love that. Sorry, bro. But it's basically still the canvas material, but it's stretched onto like like a harder cardboard panel. Okay, so this this is a 12 by 16. We're starting off with this before I use the canvases so I can get back in the groove of painting. <clears throat> okay. So, love the music, thank you. I can't hear it. I'm listening to myself talk right now. Whoa, the angle's wild. Wow. You see, it's like, it's a wide angle. But I think this is an okay POV for now. I want to, like, get, like, a, an overhead camera set up. That way I can get, like, a nice flat POV. But in order for me to do that, I need to get a tripod that goes, like, like this. That bends, like, this way. Like an L shape, but I don't have that. So, chatters, if you want to invest in the stream, exclamation, donate in chat, and you can donate to me directly. It looked normal until you pointed it out. Well, I guess you don't have an artist's eye then, because I noticed it immediately. Okay. <laughs> now I cannot see it. Where did they sell these? I got these. Oh, what's cool about these canvases and panels that I got, they're pre-gessoed. So gesso is like a base material that you put on to kind of like make your canvas look more white and bright. Um, But I got pre-gessoed canvases. They were like two to five bucks more per canvas, but it's going to save me like two to three hours of time. Because in order to get, like, a nice layer of gesso, you need to usually put, like, one or two layers down. Also, gesso is expensive. So if I can buy pre gessoed canvases, that's the dream. <clears throat> um, now that we're actually getting started, let's get our speed run timer up and running, guys. So, my goal is to get this done in two hours. Because if we just look at our base design, it's fairly simple. Like a base coat of the mica glitter, line arts with fine liners, and then red on the sides. Very simple design. This I can get done in two hours. So let's get our run started. Everybody, on your marks, go. Okay, it's going to be weird because I don't have affiliate on this channel. So no ads, guys. No ads, baby. No interruptions. Two hours to take me all day. Well, we're speed running. <laughs> Wagon, yeah, okay. So first, yeah, we, we can't do channel points, we can't do polls, we can't do anything until we hit affiliate. So chatters, please, for the love of God, follow the stream. And honestly, the best way to support right now is just be active in chat. Because 
if we have regular people or normies come in and see that my chat room is active, then they're more likely to stay. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to go in with varnish. So there's no such thing as clear acrylic paint I learned. So the best substitute I found was using varnish. And if y'all follow me on IG, peace and underscore art underscore, I did a tester piece, this one. Maybe we can see it on this camera. But I put mica and then varnish in the center part here. You can't really see it. Oh, maybe here. Can you... If you can't see the glimmer, okay, but it usually shows up slightly better in direct light. So if you see this in person, I promise, impeccable. So for this piece, the concept that we're doing with the sketch cards is I do a base idea design onto the card, and then I kind of elevate it when I actually paint it. So I think to elevate this design, instead of doing just black strokes, maybe I can do gradients of black, dark gray, medium gray, light gray, and then black. I think that's what I want to do to elevate this piece. Because this design is fairly simple on its own. Okay, let's try and get this in frame so that people coming in can know what we're trying to emulate. I'm dancing in my chair. Okay, I think I'm going to listen to the music that you guys are listening to. I'm sick of... Nope, that's not... I should not say that. <laughs> uh, I'm listening to Hassan's stream right now. <clears throat> okay. Because I was like, I don't know if I want to listen to video game music all day, but maybe I can. I'll try. If you guys have to, I can. Love how we're at, we're at two minutes. Um, what you call it? We're at two minutes uptime. Oh. Wait, chatter's hold. The music is gone. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. It's back, baby! <laughs> I just stopped dancing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I fixed it. I fixed it. Okay, so to get started, I need to get a mask on. Um, so to explain, um, I have a fan on. I have my window cracked open, but I still want to be safe because mica powders are a very fine pigment powder. And especially since they're glitter powders, they're a bit more dangerous of inhaled. So I'm going to get a mask on. You don't necessarily need a respirator. Because a simple surgical mask will <clears throat> be fine as long as I don't, like, huff it. So let me get a mask. And watch check masks. My room is a mess right now. Okay, I'm gonna... Oh, right here. I found some. And half of the stream is just going to be me, me grabbing shit. It's been three minutes. You haven't started yet. We might have to reset the timer. We might have to reset. Okay, so once again, I'm getting a mask on so I don't inhale the powders and choke and die. In Minecraft, of course. I gotta turn my fan up a little bit. <clears throat> Okay, I'm back. Have I been doing homework? Exactly. Where did Banking go? Your mom's house. Wowee. Okay, I'm actually gonna reset the timer. <laughs> okay, we're resetting the run. This does not feel the charge. Five dollars for me getting supplies. Okay, run is reset. <laughs> Guys, should we change the how to face reveal? Okay. So, I'm going to first go in. Since the canvas is already white, I don't necessarily need to put more white down. So, I'm just going to cover the whole canvas, essentially, in the varnish. Um, This is going to take a while. So, what I need to get varnish out of here is I use an eyedropper tool or a water dropper tool. Because, like, yes, this does have, like, 
it has like a little pouring thing, but it's very hard to control. Is this Meg's sister wagon? I mean, maybe. Could be. Hi, pet. That's it. So we're gonna need a lot because we're covering the whole canvas. Can you guys see? A little bit. Okay. We're gonna need a boatload. Oh, <laughs> okay, where'd my... I gotta rinse up my pipette. I have my water bin on the floor. That way if I knock it over, it'll fall on the floor, not on my desk. Big brain. <clears throat> okay, so now we're gonna mix in our mica powders. So this is a set that I got off of Amazon. There's a hair in there. It's my hair. Okay. So these are color shifting. They're actually like for resin, for like nail decorating. This one's purple to pink. This one's fuchsia to gold. And you probably can't see it as well on camera, but you can kind of see. It's almost iridescent the way that the color shifts, right? I have lime to blue. I think I'll, I want the gold one. I like the gold color shift ones. Like, you can try to mix all the powders. Gold to green, I think, is good. Okay. So, just to compare. See how the color shift is slightly different? This one is slightly more greenish blue. So, there's, like, a subtle difference between all the different powders. I think for this one, since it's a white background... I think, let's see, this gold to green, maybe. I think I want to mix the fuchsia to gold and then gold to green powders. That way I get kind of like a rainbow look. I also saw this set where I can buy just pure rainbow mica powder. That's somewhat translucent and clear. So I, I think I want to get that next time I order more powders. So it does take a lot of powder to get a really good color shift. Now, I don't necessarily need to wear gloves because I'm not going to be touching the powders directly because I'm not DUM, okay? You can see the color shifts a little bit better in the caps here. Yeah, see how this one, it's green to gold. And then this one, you can't see that one as well, but see it's gold to purple. <clears throat> okay, so I'm using a paint scraper tool because I, I don't have like those mini scoops so i'm scooping a lot in here you can always add more later Okay, so I label my brushes, what material I use them in. So this one's labeled powder, paint, and then this one's going to be another paintbrush. So since this is powder varnish, we can go ahead and mix. Now what's nice about these powders is that they're fine enough to where they don't really thicken your varnish or your paint too much. I'm only mixing gently because I don't want to spill over and waste anything. Oh, dude, this looks so pretty. <laughs> I want to eat in a cup. Like, no, they have glitter frosting. Do not eat this. Do not eat the mic about it. Shatters. Do not try this at home. Do not eat it. Okay, so this, I think, is a good ratio of powder to varnish. This is looking a lot better than my first practice attempt. So I'm going to close these so we don't spill. <coughs> see if I can see. But you can kind of see the color shift, right? <laughs> Mask off smell test? No. No. Ain't doing that. Okay. So we have our varnish ready. Now we're going to start painting. Holy, this is beautiful.
Holy f Oh my god. Oh, also, throughout stream, I'm gonna be posting progress pics on IG. Oh my god, guys, you do not understand how pretty this is. Holy, look at that. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Keyword, or key thing, just use more powder. More glitter, imagine. Now, the only thing I have to be careful about is since the varnish is clear, you can see when the varnish dries where your strokes overlap. So you have to try and get nice and even strokes. Hi, <laughs> you guys. Oh, it's his nose. Okay, let's go to full cam real quick. And see if we can see the color shift on here. So, I know it might look shiny because it's wet paint. But you can kind of see the color shift a little bit better here. I'm loving this. Thank you. You're right. It does. <laughs> I thought it was a praying emote or the Fall Guys guy. That's nice. Thank you. No, Chatters, do not snort the powder. Twitch is going to clap me if they hear you guys are doing bad things. That's why I'm wearing a mask. Okay, I don't know if I made enough varnish. Oh no. Holy. I'm thinking I, I don't think I made enough. See, like, a smart person will weigh out all the materials they use, but I don't give a fuck. I'm not a pro artist just yet. Okay, if I don't have enough varnish, then we're gonna have to change the design slightly of this piece. I'm gonna try and make it last. So I'm just, I'm just admiring, admiring. Yeah, you can see where my strokes overlapped here. Because obviously in different angles of lighting, the color shift's going to be different, so you can actually see. Now that I'm holding it like this, I can see where my strokes are. I need to make longer strokes. This is hard. I'm not confident enough. I mean, since the glitter isn't going to be, like, the main focal of the piece, it doesn't matter too much if the coat isn't as even. We just have to make sure, like, the actual acrylic paint designs will be nice and even. Holy. I know, like, glitter is tacky, but this is honestly a whole nother level. Guys, do you follow the stream because I'm entertaining, not because I'm a pro artist, right? We can all agree upon that.
I was going to go in with a bigger brush, but whenever I use a bigger brush, it picks up more paint and it stays in the bristle. So I don't like using bigger brushes typically. Oh no, final dip. We got to make this stretch. We got to make it last. I literally have homework, but I gotta chew. I mean, this is the type of stream where you can, where you don't have to chat all the time, or you don't gotta watch all the time. You can, you know, vibe, have it on the background, lurk. I think that's the biggest appeal to art streams in general. Because when I first started watching Twitch, I didn't get why people liked the art streamers. But as I was on the platform, I was like, oh, I kind of get it. Not everybody likes the super boisterous voice talking all the time. Oh, do you have any art ideas? I'm trying to get finish by the actual stream. Um, you should draw me painting. Streamception. Okay, so I have a base coat down. I'm just trying to see if I missed any spots. I used all my varnish, so I have like literal crumbs left. You ever see those like speed paint videos where they don't move the canvas at all? I'm a very active artist. Like you'll see me like moving my body. You'll see me moving my paper or my canvas. I can't do stationary work. Like, see, I got it in my hands right now. Dude, I feel so comfortable wearing a mask. I think the texture of the strokes look kind of nice. I mean, you can't really see it. Let's see. Maybe I can change. See, you can see. See how, like, the coat isn't as even? But I kind of like that texture. I don't... I like... I like... With paintings, I like a messier aesthetic, personally. But with, like... If I'm doing pen and ink, I, I have to have my liner be clean. Okay. So. <laughs> spin the canvas like a pizza. Five subs and I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm kidding. I don't have subs. Okay, I'm washing my brush. Oh, I need to get a paper towel. Okay, so I'm going to let this sit for like five minutes. That way I don't smudge it when I paint. What's nice about these mica powders and using the varnish is that once it dries, it doesn't rub off. Like, I, I don't necessarily need to put varnish to seal my paintings because the mica powder doesn't rub off. If you go like this, when it's dry, it doesn't come off. Which is actually pretty nice. Stress gives you acne. Is that why my face is so pimply? I have a fat zit growing my nose right now. It's very depressing. Okay, bye, Deacon. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate you. Okay, pro tip, wash your brushes right away. Don't let them sit. Because if you let them sit in the water, it ruins the bristles over time. Ooh, look how sparkly. You can't even see it. Okay, we're going to wait a few more minutes, so how y'all doing? I really appreciate anybody who's watching right now. If you're chatting, lurking, I really do. And if you're watching and you want to chat, all you got to do is follow. Easy. Doing good? Good. Glad to hear. You guys can hear me fine with the mask on. I get so annoyed. Like, all, you have to project your voice. Like, I when I was working back in service, like, a year ago, and, like, it was required to wear a mask at the time, right? <clears throat> and people were like, how can you speak so clearly with that mask on? And I'm like, you just have to talk from your chest. Like, it's not that hard. You just have to learn how to project. Can you add mica powder to paint directly? You could, 
But um, what I noticed is um, since the varnish is really liquidy already, it did slightly thicken. Because um, I tried adding some powder to the paint and it made the paint like clay-y almost, like wet clay. So you, in order, you have to add like a very small amount, but the less you add, the less like shimmer you'll get. So I think the best method that I did when I was practicing is paint a normal coat of acrylic. Like, if I were to do red and then want shimmer on top, just mix it with a varnish and do it on top. Because it slightly thickens your paint. So if you want a nice shimmer like this... I gotta post an IG, fuck. <laughs> if you want a nice shimmer, I would recommend doing paint, varnish, mix with mic powder. Okay, I, I'm gonna try and post progress pics on IG throughout the stream. And then I'm going to make highlights. That way people who miss the VOD. Right. I mean... It's the perfect time to do it because it's drying anyway. Why are you sagging Instagram? I think Instagram's fine. Wait, today's the third, right? Okay, so if you guys want to see a close-up of the shimmer, it does show up a little bit better on my phone camera. Go check out my Instagram story. Easy. Okay. Let's wait a few more minutes for it to dry. Yeah, it took me, like, a few hours to, like, practice to see which method was best for the shimmer powder, because, like, I've never used it before. And I couldn't really find any good techniques online, so I just had to mess around on my own. Okay, you should, you should you should not you should not just touch your painting directly. But this is basically dry. The only reason why I'm doing this is because we're gonna paint over it anyway, so it's fine. Okay, it's basically dry. And like what's nice, even though I'm touching it, the powder's not coming off. I am really happy with the powders I bought. Okay. So now. Hmm. So this is the design we're doing, and I said I wanted to elevate it by doing, instead of just doing black lines, I want to do black and then different shades of gray. So, I think I want to paint in the red first, that way I can kind of work around those shapes, right? Okay, so we're going to bust open our red. I'm using just cheapy acrylic. I could buy the expensive ones, but... We are broke. Meg Esports is now sponsoring an art channel now. So two channels to fund. Okay, don't open plastic with your teeth. I know it's very tempting, but don't do it. You're going to break your teeth open. <laughs> so like, I trimmed my nails just for today, knowing that using longer nails is not easy to paint with, but... Right here. Dude, I'm so goddamn weak. I need to go to the gym. I don't have teeth easy. Just get dentures, right? Okay, so I'm going in with Cherry Cobbler. I think I like this shade already. I don't want to change it. Because I kind of like the maroony red. It's not full maroon, but it's not full bright saturated red. Oh, another thing I like to do with my palette is I like to clean it as I go. Because I think it's kind of frustrating waiting to the end to clean it. See, like, look at this. The varnish is already dried. Oopsie.
I was just about to say use your denture. Okay. Now the trick is, you only pour out how much you need. Which is going to be easier to do since... We're using a color straight from the bottle. We're not mixing today. No, I fucking hate pulling the dry pan off. It's annoying. Okay, so I need to figure out how I want my shapes to be. Okay, I think this part I want to make a bit skinnier, like pull it in a little bit more. Okay, we're going to pull sand. One stroke. Okay, that didn't go as well as I thought, but I still got the basic action down. Because I think some of the more important components of an abstract piece is the movement, meaning how your eye travels through a piece. Okay, I'm going to have to go in with a finer brush to re make that line straight. Because this brush, even though it's new, it's already kind of bristly. Oh, shit. So this is more you should use if you're trying to get like coverage. You ever see those people who paint like 3D where they add thickener to acrylic and then they pipe it on the canvas? I want to try that, but it just, you have to use a lot of material. Okay, we got that base shape done. Then I wanted to start up here. Okay, I'm going to go in with a finer brush right now. Right here. Let's make them too nice. If you guys can't tell, I haven't painted in a long time. Is it standard for paintings to leave a border on their pieces? So I feel like most of the designs I have in mind, it doesn't matter if there's like a, like a centimeter crop on them. It could be different if you're doing a portrait. And then part of the piece went right up to the border. Because I remember in high school, we'd always have to put like a half inch or like an inch border on every single piece we did in case it had to be framed for like the... Because they had like an art showcase at our local fair. <clears throat> I don't know how 
many people like frame artwork they keep in their homes. Like the non collectors, like the people who casually have art. I know you shouldn't like touch the painting all the time, but I think it's cool when you can see the textures a little bit better. Because you kind of lose that when you put it behind a pane of glass. Okay, I'm just cleaning up the outer line here. We're going to have to do another coat on top of it. Because the coverage isn't as opaque. Because these are cheap acrylics. Oh no, the bristles broke. Good thing I did the red areas first. This would be a lot harder to cover up if I did the black lines first. Good decision pass, Megan. Yeah, I would like to say you guys can spam as much as you want. Like, use your copy pastas, use your emotes. Because I know I won't be talking as much unless chat talks to me, which, like, I know isn't good. But it's something that I have to learn how to do if I'm doing a different type of commentary style. This is looking clean, though. I'm waiting for that hype song. I think that's in the other compilation. I can find it, though. I'm surprised nobody's made, like, a tampon or a pad joke yet. <laughs> Good chatters. Good wholesome chatters. So you can kind of see the opaque difference. That's two coats of red versus one. It's very subtle, but you can tell 
Oh, this one's like full coverage. That one's getting there. You don't know what pads are? Huh? I'm just cleaning up my lines right here. This sounds like I'm about to go LARPing. I know, it sounds very medieval, huh? I'm joking. Oh, Lamo. Good troll chatter. Little W, good one. Oh my god, no, I'm late. Hi, Kobobo. Welcome in, hun. Hope you're doing well. Don't worry about being late. I'm glad you're here. Feel free to chat, lurk, whatever makes you happy, hun. I was literally just gonna say, I wonder what Kobobo is, because they were excited for this stream. <laughs> Kobobo just wake up, probably. Okay, I need to allow this side to dry. Oh, I'm already. I didn't allow it to dry long enough. Shit. See, you can already see the difference between one coat versus two. Do you guys ever see those squeegee paint videos? I kind of want to try that. But then I'm worried it's going to look bad. So I don't want to make something that looks bad. That's why I don't feel super comfortable doing, like, full originals yet. That's why I like doing the sketch card concept for now. As I'm still, like, warming up, getting used to painting again. <sighs> I was hyped when you saw the tweet. Thank you. The cha I know the channel schedule said Friday, but I literally said in stream... During the bonus and the normal one that, oh, I'm probably going live today, Monday. Today's a little surprise. I was just doing a little bit of trolling. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, that's why you should have notice on, but I think yesterday you said you don't like having things on. Which is fine, I guess. Oh, I'm goofing. I'm glad you're here, Kobobo. Okay, I'm touching up. Hey, Kobobo, did you have notifications on? <laughs> you should turn them on, Grub. I was role-playing as a bully right there. That's not my... That's not what I actually mean. Okay. Let's look at this full POV. My my floor is tilted, so my chair always moves forward. You know, chatters don't listen, yeah. Okay, the varnish is fully dry. That's why I'm touching it. Look at that. Beautiful. Y'all, y'all don't understand how lovely the mica powder looks it looks very flat on cam but i promise you 
It looks lovely. Why is it only letting you do 1080p? Are you on mobile or desktop? Because I think it lets you do a lower setting, right? I don't know. That's weird. Well, at least we're streaming in 1080p, though. It'd be sad if it was less. Because I, I didn't do any test streams on this account because all the... Everything's the same, basically. It's just different scenes and overlays. I'm glad I went live to the right channel because OBS, it's a... It's very good. Oh, you only see 1080? That's weird. Maybe it's because I'm a non-affiliate. Maybe that's when they don't let you change the resolution. Because I know it requires more processing power when you change the resolution. Mobile. Oh, yeah. I can only change to... I can't change my resolution either on desktop. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Well, as long as it's at least 1080. Because streaming in less than 1080p looks like dog shit. You heard it here. Just being honest. You know, I'm going to go through a lot of paper towels today. But it's fine because I didn't buy them. That's what I'm not excited about if I do move out. Like, we'd have to buy, like, everything. Like, shit you wouldn't have to think about. you have to buy. Okay. I think two coats is enough. Because this one is just about dry, and you can still see some strokes. But I kind of like that look. Let's post on IG. Let's not get my feet in the picture. <laughs> oh, my legs are in there. Fuck. I have to stand. God damn. No free feet. Yeah, audio only has no lag. It's pretty cool. Oh, you can see my trash on the floor? <laughs> Dude, it's so hard to take a good picture. Okay, that's better. Oh, I didn't put a caption. Fuck me, dude. Honestly, just end me. I delete it. <laughs> Honestly, end me. Dude, social media is so hard, guys. Well, I can't. No, you can't see feet. No, nice try. Nice try. You think you can debate me? Okay, you guys are going to be able to see the cords on the floor, but my cable management is ass. Okay, in the picture I just posted, you can see the mica powder shimmer a lot better. I promise. Updating Twitch Mobile is the best decision? Yes. Yes. You should always update all your social media apps. I know sometimes they're kind of wonky when you do update, but honestly, it's worth. Okay, I'm uploading a new TikTok. Oh, so I think I can handle the paint smell, so mask off. Oh, shit. My sound is on. <laughs> I had my sound on my phone. Low. Okay. Take this mask off. Now I can breathe. I'm kidding, I can breathe before. Masks don't affect your respiratory system. Only oh, it's, it's in your head. I freaking hate the people where they're like, I can't breathe. And it's like, bitch, it's all in your head. It's literally just all in your head.
Okay, now. Let's get the actual lines in. Oh my god, I made it. Hi, Crystal. Welcome in. Feel free, chat lurk, whatever makes you happy. Chatters, can we get some people haze for Crystal? Long time chat. Wait, Crystal, your character died last night light in last night in Cult of Lamb. It was funny. Having no channel points is sad. I know. Now nobody can like have clout in the chat room. Okay. So I need to figure out how I want my forms to be shaped. Because I think... Okay, I think I'm just going to full sand. <laughs> Wait, we can say that. Fuck, I didn't add the blog terms. Nobody say slurs. <laughs> Nobody say bad words. <laughs> Wait, Chaz, I would like to say, if you get banned on this channel, you get banned on my main channel. So don't, it's fuck around and find out. Because my, these channels have a shared band list. If you, if you get clapped on one channel, you get clapped on the other. So don't try. Ooh, should we do gold? No, nah, we already have shimmer on this piece. I don't, I don't think we need to do gold. Because I have, like, gold acrylic. And it's not the shitty acrylic. Acrylic, it's nice gold. Okay, so we're going to go first with black. I'm not testing you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, so I need to also buy new brushes. Because ha the ones with the black... Candles are for my India ink, and then the yellow are for paint. But the smallest one I have is this one. I'll need to get it. I'll need to get another set soon. I think Kobo. I think your character died of old age, so you know they lived a decent life. Okay, let's do the first first strokes of black. We're forty three minutes in. I think I can do this in two hours. Okay, now this is going to require. A lot of concentration, so nobody distract me. So I need to spend another 1k? Yep. You got that right. So that's just the way of the game. I think I want to make the stroke thicker. Because see how it tapers? From... Get it, Samir. From thick to thin. That way it gives it more of a curvature. I think I want to make it thicker because I think that people need to think about when you're working is you need to think about how your piece looks up close and then like on a wall. So like from six feet away. Okay, I think this is a good width. Oh, that taper's so nice. 
The itch to donate is painful. You know what you can do instead? Twitch is, yeah, stink. I don't have affiliate. When I get affiliate, then we can do subs. But chatters for now, if you want to help support. Wait, what was my command? If you want to help support directly, you can donate to my stream elements link. Because honestly, I, donations, if you want to help support me more, I get a bigger cut from donations. Because the only cut I get from donations is the service fee. Which is usually like max 50 cents. It does feel sad not seeing badges in chat, though. Makes me sad. But one day, chatters, one day. Then why don't I promote donating over gifting on the main channel? Because gifting subs and sharing bits in Twitch encourages other people to do so. Like, you know how the hype trains, if somebody sees a hype train starting or if a hype train is already going on, people are more inclined to donate through Twitch. And like with the PayPal, you, or sorry, with the donations, I think you have to do PayPal. I missed my VIP badge. I know. I know. Okay, I'm mapping out how I want my lines to look. My ankle shift, but I saved it. I was special. Yeah, you're not special anymore. <laughs> yeah, I think this is going to take the longest. Because every single stroke, I have to concentrate. Also, when you're marking like this, you have to make sure that you're not putting too much paint on your actual brush because that's how you get like all these little tiny drops of paint on your piece. Because you'll see me kind of go like this and turn my brush to the side. That way, if there is excess paint, it kind of pulls in the center of the bristles instead of on the very tip. It's little things. that change how you work when doing traditional over digital art. I definitely feel that digital is a lot easier to get into and it's obviously not nearly as expensive as traditional but i feel like people who do digital all the time they don't understand the amount of skill that goes in traditional mediums is the mica powder toxic to breathe in not really but you should still like have a mask on when you're like using it because i was just using a simple surgical earlier like once it's dried it's fine but like if it's loose, not mixed in anything, that's when it can get in the air.
Oh, you guys couldn't really see it, but the stroke here at the bottom is really thin. Look how thin that is. <laughs> I'm so cramped here in the little corner of my room. I'm trying. Okay. I think I want to do this stroke. I'm going to start here in the center. That was wet. Oh, wait, I almost lost my mind. I'm jealous of Max Badge. All you gotta do is link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch. And then you get a cool Prime Badge. Ooh, I did not expect the line to go this way. I think it's fun with the sketch card concept idea to see where the designs take you. Because I'm not directly copying the sketch card here, right? You'll see me rotating the canvas multiple times because you don't want to like contort your wrist in weird ways because one, it's going to hurt your wrist and your fingers over time. And also, it's so you can get like more because like your, your joints are, this is a ball joint, it's up and down, but your wrist can go in every direction. But still, like you don't want to be pushing your wrist backwards with every stroke. Same thing if you're cutting paper with scissors it's better if you turn the paper rather than the scissors that way you don't mess up your wrist oh my god nintendo switch sports i haven't played switch sports in like Ever since the stream we did, so like a month ish. I'm gonna be sad when I see like all the skins that I missed though. The only skin I genuinely wanted was the haiku set. Or, I mean, the volleyball set. <laughs> okay, let's see. What stroke should I do next? Because, like, right now, I'm trying to get like the base black ones, and then I'm gonna add some in between. We can do the grays. I'm going like right here. Oh yeah, the the shape. Oh, he kind of looked doesn't have a pretty shape. I don't think I could ever paint on an easel. 
Because, like, when you're painting on an easel, like, this is the natural position your hand is in. But it's hard for me to move my fingers, like, this way. Like, I very much would rather move my whole arm across a canvas than, like, move my fingers or my wrists. Especially when you're painting for a long period of time, you don't want to overwork your muscles. What's my least favorite color? I think yellow. Because I don't like the connotation that yellow is a happy color. I never understood it. And like, I don't ever wear yellow either. Yellow is my favorite. Uh oh. Oopsie. Oh, that's a much better shape. This right here. Yellow feels like fake happiness. Exactly. That's why I don't like it. See, you get it. I think my favorite color has to be green, though. Because I'm basic and I like nature. Another thing you guys may notice is that with this type of line art, like the thick to thin, you'll also see it in calligraphy. Because when you change the width of your lines, it inherently, or indirectly rather, gives weight to your piece. Even if it's still simple flat colors. That's why I personally really like manga or like cartoon art. So I think it's interesting how they can emulate shape and form with just lines. Hmm. Just looking at this line compared to the others, this one is really thick. Like, I didn't do the taper as well. I over 
that the line here should be thinner. I mean, like I said, it's you have to think about your piece when you look at it from a distance. It's not nearly as a, nearly as noticeable, so it's fine, but it's gonna bug me. I think I need to make the lines thicker overall, because it's hard to see from a distance. Hmm. I'll think about it. Or maybe I should make the thicker parts thicker. Make the contrast bigger. Maybe I'll do that. Okay, I need to add a few more. This line right here, the thick to thin to thick, that one came out perfect. I'm really proud of that stroke. We were at an hour and a half uptime. Did I really stall for like 30 minutes before I started painting? I'm sorry. <laughs> I need to think of what stroke which I should do next. I think I'll do one up top instead.
The red is almost like too bold. Okay, I think now that I have the base black stroke down, I'm going to make the thicker parts thicker to fill in a bit more space. Throughout the stream, I'm trying to explain all the different, like, minor decisions I make. Because I think the biggest appeal to any art stream is getting a little bit of insight on somebody's, like, thinking process. That's why I'm narrating a lot. That's why I'm explaining every little thing. Because if you're trying to do art, everything you do, every material, every stroke has to have intent behind it. That's a big reason why a lot of modern art is frowned upon in general, because it seems like stuff is haphazardly done. A lot of it doesn't necessarily require a lot of skill. But the biggest appeal to modern art is its ability to be copied or replicated. But if you're trying to make a piece that has, hmm, what's a nice way of saying it? Like, not value, because every piece has value because you put time into it. I think you need to have people understand that you put work into it. I think if you're able to convey that with your piece, then I think you've succeeded. Y'all know I said I got, ooh, I got no black spots on my piece. I got some on the red right here earlier. I just noticed it. Big sad. I got another one. Damn it. I just have to make sure I get no black spots on the white. So if that happens, it's GG's. I gotta reset, restart the run. You can kind of see the difference. Like just making a little bit thicker gives it a bit more motion, a bit more weight. You can see it in a not nice way. I <laughs> see I got a black spot here too. Frank. To make sure I cover that up. I think it's because I don't think people should undervalue someone else's time and effort. Okay, I'm going to try and move my palette with me. That way I don't spill as much. I'm starting to work carelessly. Which we cannot allow. This is a professional art channel. Because one of my neighbors, she does like the paint pour type art. And it looks fine. Like my sister bought a few paintings from her. And she also got one for free. But a lot of them... The paint pours are unpredictable in the sense of it's very hard to manipulate the paint if you don't know how to do it. And some of them don't look good composition wise. Because I think the biggest appeal to the paint pour is that it looks like marble. But otherwise, it's hard to make a paint pour look good. I 
So you're just adding a bit more weight. You can say it is bad, no. They have some good pieces, but some of them aren't as good. Like my sister's favorite piece that she bought from her, I don't like. It does not look good. It's not bad, it's just like the paint pour was really muddy. So the colors blended together too much. So it's hard to differentiate the colors from each other. I'm also, I'm not one that I should be critiquing others. Like, I'm not a professional. Like, yes, I'm in art school, but that doesn't give me the right to grill people. So I hate the internet sometimes. Like, you got people who aren't professionals that are, quote-unquote, criticizing, but actually just shitting on other creators. Whether it be any type of medium. Like, I try not my best to not vocalize my opinions about other public figures, but it's hard not to when that's all people talk about. Because the whole content creation scene, it's just high school. It's just gossip and shit, and I hate it. That's why I don't collab with people. Too much drama. Okay, you can see the difference. See how I added weight on the bottom lines? It looks... A lot better now. Let's go full cam. Yeah, see the weight? It shows up. It pops out a lot more. Everything will look a lot more cohesive when we add the medium grays and light grays. I know it looks empty now, but it'll look stunning.
Oh. <laughs> I was looking at the wrong thing. I thought my camera froze and I got scared. I was like sad, but it didn't. Oh, fuck, I messed up that shark. I'll save it, I'll save it. Okay, fixed, saved. Kind of wild how one wrong half a turn of your brush can mess up everything. Peepo sad cook. <laughs> yeah, I just realized how long this is going to take. This is going to take more than two hours. Talking about the time. No, we don't have ads on this channel. But chatter shaking their boots thinking I have to run an ad. <laughs> yeah, us being nonsense. Yeah, chatters, when you guys clicked on the stream, did anybody get a pre roll? Cause I don't know if Twitch runs pre-rolls on non-affiliate channels. Four out of ten. <laughs> subathon activated. What would we even do for a subathon? On this channel, rather. Yeah, paintathon. Stream ends when I paint a million paintings, not clickbait. But the gag is I cut literally a million pieces of paper and then I dump them in paint and then I call those mini paintings. I sell them for a penny each. I make how much? A million times point one. I made like a hundred K, right? Wait, somebody do the math. Oh, that only be 10k. One sub equals one brush <laughs> Okay, I'm writing that down. That's really funny. That's a good title. <laughs> I'm writing that down. Good, good job, Batty. Batty's my favorite. Batty's my favorite chatter in this stream, too. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that's so funny to me. Dude, imagine how many subs I could farm, though. Laughing my freaking ass off of getting tagged, I keep forgetting. What? What, what, what the fuck are you talking about? What? I get a post? What? What are you talking about? Okay, I got a post on IT, because I think... No, I think I want to add one more black line. I don't mind clapped you, haha. Haha. -ha. Tee hee. Haha, tee hee. Tee hee. Oh, this song is memed all the time. I'm going to add one more black stroke down here. I think I need to fill in this space. I don't know how, though. I don't want... Oh, maybe that. Maybe that. I like that. So, did you curse? <laughs> no, 
Nice try, Chatter. Okay, I just wanted to cover up the black smudge that was there. I'm fixing it, hold. Just cleaning up my home while I watch? Yeah. I'm glad to hear that, Sylvian. Hope you're doing well today. Welcome in. You're from my chat, right? <laughs> I think you've chatted in my channel one time, but welcome in, hon. I mean, that's the vibe we're going for. You know, I chill, you chill. We all chill. And can we get some peace out to yos? If you're sub in my channel. Or rather, my main channel. Welcome in. I appreciate the new follow as well. You followed at the start of the stream, so thank you. Yeah, because I know that painting or doing art in general is really relaxing for me. It's just I didn't want to do it on stream because I didn't know if people would like it. But I'm glad y'all are hanging out. Or you could use the emote extensions. Exactly. Exclamation extensions and chat. Okay, I need to make these lines thicker and then we can start doing the gray lines. Oh, you're a TikTok frog? Let's go. <laughs> I do have a separate TikTok for the art account. I think it's peace and underscore art on TikTok, but I don't have any videos yet. And I don't know what type of content I want to do for that account. Because, like, I feel like art TikTok is just, like, scribble and then transition to the reveal. Or they have, like, close-up shots of them actually, like, painting and shit. So I, I kind of want to do something like that, but... I would have to have, like, a different POV cam or have someone else help me film. So maybe 
when we get the new property, I can have somebody help me film for TikTok. I think that'd be cool. Okay, I think all the black lines are done. Let's get full cam real quick. Full cam POV. Hmm. Let's see what it looks like on the wall. Hmm. I kind of want to make the black lines thicker, but I'm not sure. I'm thinking. I have a question. I hate when you guys debate. Just ask the goddamn question. <laughs> okay, I think I'm ready to add grays. Because of an almost light flowing effect. Yes. Yes. Do you find peace in art? <gasps> Wait. Wait. I didn't even think about my user like that. Holy shit. I sound like those life gurus who are holistic and shit. Genius. So I think limiting my marketing manager. Okay, I gotta post on the IG. I gotta stand up for this shit. God damn. Perfect solution. Peace and art. That's actually really good. Somebody write it down. Oh wait, that's my user. <laughs> okay, no free feet. Dude, that took me 50 minutes. No fucking way. Sorry, there, I know that because the last, like, IG update I did was 50 minutes ago. Holy fuck. Okay, this... This might take all day. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, well, let's just make to work in our grays now. Where's my white right here? White is right. You heard it here. White is right. Okay, so I need to think. Yeah, I actually need to start speed running. So, the, I, the concept is I do black to very light gray. So, I need to think which... Cause it, hmm. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Wait, do I have Kona enabled? Somebody check. Do I have Kona? Because, like, we need to think about, like, how the lines, quote-unquote, move. So it makes sense to have be in here, here, here. Okay. I don't have Kekona. Damn, I'll add it later. I need to write that down. Let me get a dab of white. Now we're actually mixing. You can't really tell, but it's a very dark gray. Maybe I can add a tad more white. So it's still a bit too close.
Perfecto. Okay, let's get to it. So we're basically going to do similar strokes, but with different shades of gray now. So we're filling in the empty spaces. I think these are dry. Okay, let's go. Now, I know this gray looks basically black, but I promise you, it's gray. Dude, I wish we had predictions that we could, like, guess how long the painting's gonna take. Dude, I miss predictions. And I don't miss them because I I have a gamba ing addiction. I just want chat to gamba. We hacking love ads. I don't have ads on this channel because I'm not an affiliate. Saggy. Okay, so I'm not going to have the lines go all the way down. Okay, see how I had it taper here before that line ends? You should play ads anyway. I don't have the ability. <laughs> Man, I if I did though, you guys would be drowning in it. I wish they had something, because, like, on YouTube, if you're a non, like, YouTube partner channel, they still run ads on your video, but YouTube keeps the money, not the channel, which I think is kind of rude. I would sub. Thank you. Type a one in chat if you'd sub to this channel if I became eligible. I better see a million ones. <laughs> Of course, we'd still have a channel for redemption to where I would gift chatters a sub. And I think on this channel, you're probably able to... Oh, wait, I don't stream as much on this channel, though. Hmm. Because, like, these streams are probably going to be, like, four to six hours long. But they're only going to be once or twice a week. So, it'd be harder to get channel points. Is anybody going to go to TwitchCon in chat? I'm not. 
I've never gone to TwitchCon, but I have no desire to. Where is it? It's in California, like, this week. I think it's San Diego is the city. I think it'd kind of be like a VidCon, to where people are just there to just to see their favorite streamer. Which, of course, I would go to see Hassan. Guys, my goal with streaming is to become clouded enough to where I can go on Hassan's stream. And then he can show me Joe Rogan. That's the dream. Is it Comic Con? I went to Comic Con. It was alright. I think it's because I didn't go to like any speakers panels or anything. It's kind of boring. Like my friend literally took a nap. <laughs> like we found a bench inside and then they fell asleep. <laughs> and I was freaking out because like all the security guards are like staring at us as they walk past and I'm like so scared one of them was gonna come up to us and like scream at me. None of the speakers are interesting. Oh my god, dis. Get a Mac. Okay, chatters, do you think it's worth, if I play copyright music and then I get banned on both channels, do you think that's worth? Type one? <laughs> yeah, I love the cosplayers too. I love looking at them. Just kidding. I respect humans and women. Nobody clip it. Nobody clip it, repost and get me canceled, and then I get so much clout on this channel. Nobody do it. No, I think it takes a lot of courage to cosplay at conventions, because, like, obviously people are going to look at you. Like, looking back, I wish I would have dressed up. Because my sister and her friend went as fast food workers from Breaking Bad, like the chicken people. And they were so cute. They were also super easy to find in the crowd, because, like, the uniforms are bright yellow and red. I'm gonna be one of the people who come up to them while they're eating Mac. That's so rude. Bruh. I would hate that shit. You know, let them eat. You're like, people shy, can I get a picture? Let's get a look at this. Where's my mouse? Oh, there's. Wowie. Well, that looks cool. Like closer up, adding those lines. 
It accentuates the movement a bit more, right? I think you'll be fine, Mac. Like, don't be worried if you get confused or lost. Like, that happens to everybody. Nobody knows what the fuck they're doing. But as long as you're respectful of other people's space, I think you'll be fine. Dude, it's gonna be such a hassle moving my whole setup back to, like, the gaming setup. Like, I have to reset up my tripods, move my desk, holy. I was gonna play Cult of the Lamb again on the main channel as a sub-only late-night stream, but it's like, I don't wanna move everything tonight. It's gonna pee a pee. It's gonna, it's gonna be a pain in my side. And also, since I've been streaming more, because I think for the past few weeks I've streamed, like, five days a week, five or six, depending. Like, I've been missing a lot of streams, and I feel bad. Like, I need to catch up on my Hassan streams. Oh, it's your first time going to this convention specifically. Um... I think if you're going with friends, you just have to make sure you communicate and express what you guys need to do if you're feeling overwhelmed. Like, do you need to step outside? Do you need, like, someone to hold your hand or comfort you? That type of thing. That needs to be adequately communicated before you go in the building. Because, like, I was with my friend and we had, like, a plan of what to do if, like, either of us were, like, freaking out. But then, like, we freaked out at the same time. So. Because, <laughs> like, we both aren't necessarily claustrophobic. But whenever we get in large crowds, we kind of, like, lose our minds a little bit. And so, like, if one of us were freaking out, like, we would comfort the other. But then we both freaked out. And that was not fun. <laughs> like, when that happened, we had to, like, sit outside for two hours. Like, I was crying. And then my friend was, like, sitting all huffy-puffy because I was crying, but they were, like, still mad. Not at me, but just at the situation. Because you both couldn't, like, calm each other down. Yo! Hey, yo! Hi, Emmy! Thank you for coming into stream. Can we get some peace I to yo's for Emmy if you're a sub in my main channel? Hi! How do you Fuck! Sorry. You guys can't see it because it's off cam, but I messed up a stroke. It you can't tell because it's off the it's on like the edge of the canvas, so you literally can't tell if you're looking at the front. Dude, I'm losing my mind. Hi, Emmy. How'd your stream go last night? I missed it. Proud of you for making art. Guys. Emmy said she's proud of me. You've said that more to me than my mom. It crashed? No fucking way, dude. You, need, you legit need to have, like, an IT guy come in and look at your setup. That's wild. Because you said, like, you switched to Streamlabs, but it still crashed? What the fuck? It could be your actual, like, hardware, then. Oh, that's a bummer. I'm, yeah, Mac actually is studying IT shit right now. Okay. Time to rotate. Well, actually, I should rotate it the other way. Oh, no, this way. This way is the right way. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Oh, this is from 3D World. 
from like the secret levels. I hate this song because it reminds me of the hard levels. Oh, I thought I got paint on my shirt. I want to get like a plain black crew neck and then I make a fake logo on it with my Cricut and iron on the vinyl. But I don't know what type of logo I want to do for this channel. Because I think using like an actual photo of yourself is good for branding on Twitch because then people actually get to see your face. Like, I think if people use a logo for Twitch, like their profile pic, it's very like disassociating. That'd be cool, yeah. But I need to think of like what logo I want. Yeah, I, I was gonna like see if I could find a jersey. Because my sister, she wants to get into sewing and shit. I wanted to see if she could, like, make me, like, a custom fake Meggie Sports jersey. I think that would go crazy. Because I keep saying, like, my sister, she would do really good if she did cosplay because she's really cute. And no chatters. Don't try to find her. She literally has no social media. It's a bummer. Because, like, she has three different endeavors that she wants to try. It's just we don't have the space for it. She either wants to do ceramics, sewing, or... Well, there's one more thing. Or, like, t-shirt making. On my way to hack the mainframe of what though of what what are you guys gonna hack uh-oh mod check twitch dev I'm liking this piece a lot better now that we're adding, like, the interior lines. I'm liking it a lot. Because it adds a lot more subtle movement. Are you gonna mac the mainframe? <laughs> yeah, they're gonna do a mac attack. Hey, Lemon, how's your piece going? Are you almost done or is it going to take hours like I am? <laughs> um, I think this is probably going to take me a total of five hours. I thought I could speed run and get it done in two, but I don't, I don't know anymore. It's not looking too good.
I'm never doing art. What? Capital D colon what? Why not? If you're the one watching an art stream, you should learn something from this. I stopped working on it because I got bored. Saggy. I feel that though. That's usually why I don't do big pieces like this, because I feel like if I don't like the idea, I'm just going to scrap it. But definitely working off of an idea of a sketch card makes it a bit easier. Like I already have an idea. So I'm not wasting supplies with like scrapping an idea if I don't like it. When I say idea, I mean like concept or a base idea for design. Wait, Emmy, are you still in chat? Ma check Emmy. I don't call it chatters, but Emmy's cool. Because <laughs> I think Emmy's birthday is coming up. Because I want to do a series where I do abstract paintings of streamers, like big streamers and small streamers too. Like, it's like a mini-series. Like, do, like, mini-canvases. Because I know that NMPLOL said they're doing, like, a Christmas P.O. box. And I wanted to make art for them, but I don't know if I could get it done in time. Because they said they need everything in by November, which I could get it done by then, but be kind of pushing it. Because October is already going to be a busy month for me. Oh, you know what I realized too? When I played Animal Crossing last night, there's a fishing tournament on Saturday. I'll get back to work, cry. Yes, you better. Anyway, there's an Animal Crossing fishing tournament on Saturday. Do you guys want me to stream it or no? Because we've streamed every single fishing event, which this year has been two, so I think we should stream it. But if I do it Saturday, then we're not doing the Kirby. That's the problem. Because I, I don't think I can stream six days this week. Because, like, five is already pushing it. Because I'm getting to a point where I will have essentially a handful of people guaranteed to show up to every stream. I appreciate everybody who does like lurk or chat every stream. I genuinely do. But I feel like I need to push myself more commentary wise. So I need to figure out how to do so. So if you stream too much, you kind of kill your your commentary because you don't have like enough substance to fill the dead air. You should run a poll. Yeah, I wish. <laughs> if only. <laughs> I think it's kind of silly that they don't give affiliates the ability to pull. Because I think any way to have your chat room engage when you're this small, especially, is good. And also, I feel like a lot of affiliates don't utilize predictions or polls nearly as much as they should. Because predictions and polls encourage lurkers to engage with your stream. Not necessarily chat, but just, like, keep your stream open, keep the chat box open so they can see the poll or prediction. That's why I do predictions as much as I can. 
Because typically, if someone does predictions all the time, they're more likely to chat. And that's what you want. You want chatters. You are chat and talk, or pick a topic to talk about every stream? We could do that. That's why, like, I have AMA tagged in my normal streams, along with today's. Because I'm fine with you guys asking me random shit. I feel like that's usually the vibe we have in Mario Kart streams. Because, like, I just talk about random shit, and people like that. Or I do story times if it's related to the topic. Because I think the best thing about watching a new streamer is getting to know them over time. What is my favorite root vegetable? I think a stewed carrot is pretty solid. I don't like root vegetables a lot. Because they're usually a bit firm. And hard. Which I don't like those things. <laughs> I know what y'all are thinking. Y'all can just keep it to yourselves. <laughs> Potato weight. Potato is a root vegetable? Oh, I fucking hate parsnips. I don't like them. Okay, let's get a close up. Dude, we're at two hours work time. Well, that looks a lot better with those lines. Ooh, I like that a lot. Hmm. It feels weird not running ads myself. Okay. Take a quick IG pick and then back to work. How long do you guys think it's going to take to finish this? Genuine answers only. At least four? Yeah. I'm thinking four or five. How about 21? Parsnips are fancy carrots. Doesn't mean I'm going to like them more, though. Let's add more white, make it lighter gray. What's the question? I don't know. You got to be paying attention. I got up. <laughs> How long do y'all think it's going to take me to finish this painting? Okay, we have our next gray ready. Ooh, now I can start to see the difference on the gradient. That's exactly what I want.
What's your favorite number? That was the question. You don't have a favorite number? You know what my favorite number is? 21. And obviously 17 is my username number. It's because remember back in elementary, like in your class list, everybody had a number based on like your ABC order. For I think three years in a row, my number was 17. So I just deemed it fate or perhaps luck. Guys are stupid. <laughs> oh my god, spinach has to be a favorite veggie. If you get lettuce on your Subway sandwich, there's something wrong with you. You like crispy lettuce, and that's or fuck. You like crispy water, and that's weird. Spinach is the way to go. I like spinach because it's soft. And it's not wet. I think it's weird because you want your bread to be dry, but then the lettuce, the veggies, the veggies make it wet. And I think it's very unappetizing. Like when customers would ask me, oh, I want extra lettuce and they would want like fistfuls. I'd be like, oh, honey. In my head, I'd be like, they're gonna regret this. Or they basically just like order a salad next time, bitch. I mean, subway salads are kind of ass though. It's because half the time the workers don't know how to make a salad because they literally never get ordered. And then also. People over chop the veggies, like they basically mince them when it's just supposed to be a light chop. Oh, your local Subway scared you away from spinach? I guess. Subway veggies are never fresh. I mean, oopsie. <laughs> I think it varies per region, but I know the, vet the lettuce doesn't come pre-chopped in my region, it's just vacuum sealed. Or it, it comes pre-cut, sorry. The only veggies we cut in-house were tomatoes, onions, green peppers, and cucumbers. Everything else was vacuum sealed. The only reason why Subway is able to market itself as fresh is because we make the food in front of you. That's why people think it's fresh or healthier, but it's actually not. Like, the calorie count is insane. The only way to get, like, a decent, like, a low-calorie count thing from Subway is if you get a veggie delight with no sauce. The sauce is what gets you. There's also, like, very high sodium count in, like, the proteins for Subway.
You don't want to eat from Subway ever again? Me too. I told you many stories, but half the time they don't wash their goddamn hands. It's a problem across all Subways. It's because a lot of locations will prioritize um, customer over food safety. Which is silly, because like you don't want to get people sick. So if you ever go to any fast food place that touches food directly, with gloves, of course, make sure they wash their hands before putting gloves on. And if they get pissy with you, just literally walk out. You can easily eat somewhere else. We're revealing Subway secrets in here? Yeah. As long as, um, Daddy Subway isn't watching, I'll be fine. I didn't have to sign any NDAs. <laughs> Imagine. What the fuck? What is this? Is this cocoa melon? This is a pot. <laughs> I wonder what it's from. It's from the Nintendo compilations. That was cute. Okay. Adding this second gray adds a lot, in my opinion. Did I miss it? Miss what? Your mom? Got him. Be time to rotate. Oh, it was it? Oh, we're talking about the song. <laughs> yeah, it was not the one. I don't think the song you're thinking about is gonna play today because it's at the. It's gonna. It's at the top of the playlist. We're near the end, so. Or it's in the middle. We're nearing the end of the playlist that I have.
can you please play it? If I get a gifted sub in my chat, peace in underscore 17, I'll play the song. Handshakes? Wait, wrong hand. Handshakes? Peace out to shake. Change.org? What? <laughs> what? Oh, it starts a petition. I was like, what the fuck? Why are you guys saluting? How many names do we have to receive a million? What's the most signatures a, a change.org position can get, though? Like, do they have a record? If they do, we should beat that record. That's the only thing that'll satisfy me. Okay, I'm messing up the stroke really bad. I'm gonna fix it so you guys won't be able to tell in the final, but it's really bad. I did a thick stroke instead of a super thin one, so I have to patch it. We are signing. <laughs> I was going to say, y'all better send me the link, but you guys can't send links in chat. Got him. <sighs> yeah, we're two hours in. Another reason why I have the speed run timer on screen is so I can look back and see how long each painting took. And especially since it's on film that I can easily tell. And like also look back and see what I can improve on. I wonder if there's a faster way to do this. I think because it's with paint, that's why it's taking so long to get these strokes down. Like, if this were with a brush pen, dude, I could get this done in like an hour. But then you're kind of limited with what colors you can use with brush pens. And also, they wouldn't work well in this material because the t canvas is textured. We'll send it to Twitter. There's always another way. <laughs> You're right. You know, boost my Twitter. I'd love that.
Okay, the paint in my palette is starting to dry. So it's harder to get like clean strokes. I'm gonna have to mix more gray after this one. It's looking good, streamer. Thank you, Batty. So bad at drawing people, me too. That's why I don't do it. <laughs> Okay, these grays are so similar, it's hard to tell which I added strokes to. Now, Chatter, since this is an art channel, you guys have to be honest if something doesn't look good, okay? If it looks ugly, you have to tell me. No liars in chat. And let me clarify, you have to critique me when it's done. Meaning you have to watch the whole stream, watch the whole process, and then you can talk shit. Because I know I feel self-conscious posting like works in progress or like pencil sketches. Because I know that's not how the final is going to look. I would be crying, but this song is too much of a <laughs> Sorry if I'm not reading chat right away. I feel bad. I need to figure out a better setup to where I can see chat in like my peripheral. I know people usually have chat pulled up on their phone, but I don't want to do that. Because I don't want to, like, V-Bot. Like, I know it's the cliche thing to do for people who are, like, grinding for affiliate to, like, oh, have a tab open or have it open on three devices or, like, on your phone. But I just feel like it... Even if I have one extra tab open, I feel like it's so disingenuous. Because then you're literally seeing your viewer count as a number, not people. Okay, next round of grays is down. What if I put the streamer spider in the picture instead of you? I'd be kind of weirded out, to be honest. But I guess go for it. It's kind of weird. But art is supposed to be weird, right? Okay, I'm going to add some a gray line here. Because I want to be able to fill in some of this white space.
Dude, it's so weird hearing, like, human vocals in Nintendo songs. Drawing spiders is hard, too. I think drawing anything is difficult, so as long as you're trying. That's the main thing. Okay. We have our second graze down. Let's get a full POV. I'm getting faster. Hey, yo. Peace, I too. Yo. Okay, let's get a post up on Instagram. What do you guys think so far? This is gonna look great once it's filled in. Like once you got like more grays in. It's gonna look great. I'm eating soup. I have no idea what this piece looks like because I'm an audio only. <laughs> Lil Mel. <laughs> well, dude, why are you watching our stream at audio only, you psycho? But I appreciate it. Are you doing something in the background called Bobo? Is that it? <laughs> Funny. Ooh, chicken soup? That sounds pretty good. Yeah, guys, I just did a backflip. Me and my nearly disabled ass did a backflip. Yeah, like crazy. Sorry, I will splatter paint all over because I have my brush in my mouth. I need to stop doing that. It's a bad habit. If you fuck up your teeth. Because it lags with video on. Is your Wi-Fi that bad? Or are you on mobile? Maybe you're on mobile. Or like, outside of the house, I mean. Like, actually mobile. Mobile while watching Twitch on mobile. <laughs> It lags for you on PC too, really? Have we had any drop frames yet? It doesn't say I have, so it's probably you guys. It's not me. You're at home? Damn. See, y'all are trying to gaslight me. Max says it's perfect. Or maybe they're lying. Either way, I know everybody's connectivity level is different because infinite or internet is not an infinite resource. But... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where I was going. Yep. No, it would complain. <laughs> Oh, 
Whoa. Sorry, there was a gnat on my arm and I felt it crawl in me. That was scary. Isn't drop for you either? Okay, get. Now on my end it says no drop frames. Just really good. Okay, back to work. No more stalling. No more market research. Okay, my hands are good. They aren't numb yet, so I'm not pushing myself too much. I think it's because when you're painting, you don't have to put too much pressure when you're actually, like, putting your brush on paper. Versus, like, pens or pencils. You're always you use data at home dude that's crazy dude my like data is so bad especially on twitch if you're what holy oh my god thank you for the follow rating i missed it thank you <laughs> like i'm not used to thanking followers because i'm scared about getting follow botted dude what is wrong with you guys even when i had unlimited data on I, I don't use it unless I'm out of the house. Using data at home, that's forbidden. Like I said, guys, the internet is not an infinite resource. It can disappear one day. That's why I need to use the internet while I can. See, you're the problem. Am I the villain? Yes, you are. I- Oh, never mind. I'm not gonna say what I was gonna say. <laughs> it was really mean. 
Uh, dude, okay, I'll say it. This was an intrusive thought, okay? I was gonna say, if you have to ask yourself, am I a bad person? You probably are. <laughs> that's so fucking horrible to say. Like I said, that's an intrusive thought. I don't genuinely think that... I don't think anybody is necessarily inherently bad. I think people are a product of their upbringing, their environment, and also their lived experiences. I think most any person is capable of change. Yes, there's a finite group that probably are unforgivable, i.e. like people who do heinous crimes that violate the rights of others, i.e. murder, assault. Like, that's a whole other bag of tea. Or can of worms, let's say. But I humbly believe that everybody is capable of positive change if they try. But they have to put the effort in. Oh wait, this is the SM64 soundtrack, right? I think so. What if it was an accident? There's... That's why if you hit somebody accidentally in your car, that's manslaughter. That's not first-degree murder. There's a difference. But concerning... Because, like, it all, to me, everything boils down to intent. Like, did you intend to hurt somebody? Did you intend to harm someone? Ooh, that looks cool. But am I a bad person? As long as you don't violate anybody else's rights, I don't think you're a bad person. In my eyes. Like I said, most anything is forgivable to some capacity. But everybody's morality is different, so you can't expect forgiveness from everyone, is a better way of putting it. That's why I hate when people use cancel culture. Because cancel culture in itself downplays actual crimes, i.e. like assault or violating someone's rights. That's why I don't partake in it. I do consume some of the media, but I will never add my fist to the fight, you could say. Because there's different, more positive action you can take. Especially concerning activism or bringing awareness to a topic. You don't need to attack people. And when I say, I mean, like, verbally attack people. Yeah, you could do actual crimes in your five, but you say, <laughs> you say the wrong thing, GG's, yep. It's another case where there's a very vocal minority that I fucking hate in the lefty space. You know, I'm progressive, I'm a lefty, but some of them are, they need to know when to calm down. Like, choose your battles. Like, you should be spreading your time, sp spreading, like, awareness and activism in a positive way. You don't need to start threads on Twitter. Do you eat raw cookie dough? No, but I'll eat raw cake dough sometimes. I think raw cookie dough is a bit much. It's a bit too heavy. But raw cake dough, you can just, you can like literally like slurp it up. Yeah. If, if I'm able to do cooking streams, I'll try and do cooking streams like maybe every other week. 
I think those would be fun for chat. The only issue I see with doing cooking streams is, is that I have to use, like, somebody else's recipe. Because I'm not original, and I don't know how to, like, bake from scratch unless I have instructions. Because the thing with recipes and, like, making content concerning cooking, like, some people have, not copyright, but, like, you need to credit them if you use their recipes, which I think is fair. But I don't, I don't want to tread into that space without knowing the proper etiquette. Brownie better is better than cake better? I never, I haven't had brownies for a while. My sister was asking me to make her some <laughs> a week ago, but then I forgot. <laughs> Limo. How would the cooking streams work? It would be two camps set up, one full POV kitchen, and then one close up of like the counter or a film stovetop cooking of the stovetop. It'd, it'd be like the R streams. Just two camera POV, more chill. What if we had inside the oven cam? <laughs> Dude, that'd go crazy. <laughs> POV, the camera's like literally melting in the oven. <laughs> Dude, that'd be insane. I appreciate everyone who's hanging out today, though. I really do. I pray you get to place me, too. They're still drafting out the lease agreement, so... If we don't get it, I'm gonna be big sad. But it's looking very much in our favor right now, so... The only problem is me being able to drive. Because I talked about it last night, but I, along with chatters, have noticed that I've been, like, stuttering and slurring more. Like, I'm genuinely concerned. Because, like, sometimes throughout the day, like, my, my muscles will tense up and I can't move my arm for, like, a few minutes. Like, imagine that happens when I'm driving. So, that's why, like, I haven't practiced driving it. Because, like, I'm so scared. Like, if I practice with my dad and, like, that happens in the car, I'm like, we fucking die or some shit. So, I have to, I'm going to talk about it with my doctor one more time, just to see if they think I'm fine to drive, but I don't know. But, like, my sister, she took a driving class, she took practice lessons, like, actually driving, she just didn't take the final knowledge test, like a dummy. So, I'm trying to convince her to get her license by November, and not me. Because, like, she's the one who has to drive herself to work, so, like, it would make more sense. I don't know, she was so stubborn about it yesterday, I was getting mad at her. Or it wasn't yesterday, it was the day before. Do you know if others have offers? We could look for other places, but this is the within our budget. <laughs> if you die, it would be okay if you miss the stream. Thank you, thank you, Lemon. I appreciate that. That means a lot. <laughs> oh, my God. Holy. Yeah, like, we could look for other places, but right now, if we were to, like, get a different... Because uh, our budget isn't very big. Because, of course, I don't work. 
So if we were to get a different property, it, we would have to keep looking for a while because nothing else is really in our budget right now. So if we don't move this year, it would be in the summertime next year. TLDR. I mean, you guys know, dying on stream is TOS, so if I die on stream, I'd be banned. Like, there's always rental properties available in my area, or, like, wherever we want to move. Because I know my sister and I, we're fine with living anywhere, as long as it's not in the middle of, like, bumfuck nowhere. But it's just a matter of, we have to find a place that's cheap enough to where we'd be able to save, like, a thousand a month. Between, like, everybody in the household's income. Because the goal is to, like... Yes, I would get lots of news coverage, of course, but, you know, I'd be D-E-D. -E -D. Guys, if I died... No, let's not entertain that thought. <sighs> Sorry, that's bad. Erase that. Intrusive thought. Erase that. Wait, what happens to your Twitch channel if that happens? Like, do you lose your affiliate? Do you lose your partnership? Does it stay there? I know for any partner that does get banned, they ban that username, meaning nobody else can take that user. I know that. I was going to say, like, imagine how many far subs I could farm. But then it's like, I wouldn't be able to get the money from said subs. So what's the point? Guys, I'm trolling. Twitch stuff, I'm trolling. I'll, I'll keep my mouth shut next time. Me take over. Chat runs my stream. Twitch plays peace and underscore 17. How would that even work? I would just have like infinite Twitch guest stars on. Twitch guest stars is the new like Twitch function to where you can invite viewers on stream. For anybody who doesn't know. You can't erase things from online. I know. That's why nobody better clip the stream. That'd be really bad. I was thinking about it. How can we for our clips on this channel? I genuinely can't think of any way unless I say something crazy or if, like, I knock over my paint and it ruins the whole canvas. I think that'd be the only, like, good clippable moment. Not that I'm trying to farm clips per se, but... You're right. You guys are bad chatters. You wouldn't be able to handle it. Because most of the good clips on my main channel is like me saying something funny or like an epic gamer moment or a fail. So, not that I'm going to repost the clips on any other platform because I don't want to market, like I don't want to make a separate clips account for the art channel. But I don't know how, what would be good to clip here. Also, if I do say anything sus, you guys better not clip it. Because I will delete that clip. No sus chatters allowed. Because my only concern is that since this camera angle is like full body POV, I don't want like PERVs. To clip me when I'm, like, standing up or that shit. So if anybody does that shit, you're fucking banned. I don't give a fuck if you're a long-term chatter. You're just self-reporting when you make a public clip. Like, I don't get why people think they can get away with it. Like, Cutie Cinderella has talked about it on stream. 
but there were times when she would have like hundreds of clips people would make during a stream where it's just her with like like either standing up or like moving around the kitchen like it's disgusting people crazy yeah it, it's gross so like i said if i catch any any of you fuckers doing that shit you're clapped on both channels i don't give a shit like, I think only followers can make clips on my channel. I might change it to, like, if you're following for a week, maybe. That way you have to be, like, an active follower to clip, maybe. I think I'll do that after stream today. Because, like, as I was setting up the camera angle today, that's what I was generally scared of. Not that... Like... Because I don't ever want to be seen as a desirable figure. So I feel like that brings, like, a really negative community and also, like, really neg negative attention. Even if it's not your intent, it's just going to attract, like, a very negative group of people. Like, these are all things you have to think about if you want to be a content creator online. Like, it's the unfortunate reality that a lot of people face or don't realize is a part of it until they're in it. That's so weird. Yeah, there's a lot of fucking creeps online. That's why I usually nip stuff in the bud. I would like to say all my regular chatters are very respectful. Thank you, chatters. I really do appreciate you guys. I just realized I haven't drank water at all today. Let's get a little sip. Like. I'm totally fine with, like, girls having OnlyFans and that type of shit. Like, I'm all for marking your body. But that type of stuff is consensual. Like, they want to be seen as a desirable person. But the people who aren't and don't want to be seen that way, they should not be sexualized. Controversial, but true. Like, no one should face harassment just because they're a woman or female presenting. Now I never want to stream. Yeah, just don't stream easy. I think a reason why a lot of people are really weird in streams is because they can see the reaction live. That's the only reason why. Because, like, you know, with, like, a YouTube video, nobody really combs through all the comments. But with the stream, you can see the chat room live. And you can potentially see your streamer have a negative reaction live. That's why, like, I think out of any form of content creation, live content is the most intimidating. Like, it's definitely the least, or, like, sorry, the easiest and, like, least effort. But, um, <clears throat> there's a lot more to it. I don't know why Twitch viewers would do that, especially when Twitch is mostly gamers. Okay, I want you to rethink the sentence you just typed in chat. I want you to think of the cliche greasy gamer, and then... Think harder. <laughs> like, it's not surprising that there's a lot of weirdos on Twitch. Like, there's a reason why I don't have a Discord. Because I don't want anybody to be groomed. And even if I don't do it, doesn't mean that I'm not, like, I'm still the one that offered a space in which it could happen. Especially small streamers. Because people, as seen by some chatters here, you get easily attached to their personality. Like, I don't want anybody to ever feel unsafe in any form 
of space that I have online. Whether it be like on Twitter, on IG, in the Twitch chat, or in offline chat rooms related to me. Yeah, there's other platforms too weird, I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, but Twitch especially, there's a lot of shit. Reddit, I'm screaming. Weird is on Twitch, how could that be? I don't know. I think it's because a lot of it isn't talked about. It's very frowned upon to talk about. Or talk about publicly, rather. It's kind of going back to the theme of, like, uh, what was it? Like, the Me Too movements, where people are very much, like, shunned and frowned upon if they do speak publicly on any form of, like, harassment issue or assault issue. Because, like, obviously people aren't going to believe you initially. There's always going to be people who discredit your lived experiences. Like, there's better ways to build communities on Twitch, and a Discord server is not the way. Because the issue with Discord servers is you're giving people direct access to you, the streamer, and also direct access to each other, the viewer base. Especially when creators have viewers who are minors. Like, you don't know who's a predator or not. Controversial, but true. That's why I don't let anybody into my inner circle anymore. Like, I'm very hesitant. I don't want anybody to get hurt, myself included. <laughs> Pinterest is like the least weird social media. I agree. Pinterest is just like middle-aged women who want to do art, but just save pictures and say they're artists. Anyway, back to art. Let's talk about something lighter, shall we? Uh, anyway, last thing I want to say. I think it's sus when people try and plus their, plug their Discord right away. I think it's very sus. I know Discord is, like, the best platform to, like, get people to constantly be engaged with you or your stream. Like, it's a really nice hub to where people can easily access all your social media and shit and interact with you offline, but I just feel like it's not safe. Like, I'm not calling out people specifically, I'm just saying in general. You should post your art on Pinterest. Dude, people would steal it. Okay, I was gonna say, I steal art on Pinterest, but no, I, I don't. I'm joking. I'm trolling. Megan the Pinterest girl? No, I think IG is a more sustainable platform. <laughs> Pinterest is fine, but people don't go to Pinterest to buy. They go to Pinterest for inspo. They would talk through Pinterest pins? What? Dude, that's wild. <laughs> Dude, that's insane. Okay, I fucked up the line. It's not straight. Just like my chat. Type of one if you're gay. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Don't type one. Unless... That is kind of cute, though? Yeah. Like a wholesome kind of way. But, like, Pinterest pins are public, so, you know, you can't be flirting in Pinterest posts, I guess. I'm straight, damn. Yeah, 
trying to shoot my shot, you know. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. We just had a conversation about grooming. I'm kidding. Yeah, you are right, Kobobo. Pinterest is definitely more artsy. Like, mm. I haven't used Pinterest in years, though. So I don't know what the UI is like at all. Does Pinterest do, like, video at all? Because, like, every platform is trying to be, like, TikTok, right? I screwed up that line. I messed up. It's over. Reset. Okay, next round of grays is done. Let's get a full cam view. Wow, we it's coming along. I promise you it's gonna look right when it's done. In what, five hours? Oh, shit, I got pain in my arm. God damn. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna mix my next round of paint first. There we go. Perfect. Oh, it's still like a bit too dark though. I need it darker. Darker. A little bit more white. Uh, still too dark. Okay, perfect. Okay, now we can update the IG. If everybody could hear, if everybody here could politely go follow my Instagram, that'd be great. Because I post the final pictures on there along with progress pics and the stories. If y'all could go follow, it's free to follow. I'd appreciate it. You're right on the right. Looks like a heart. Holy, you're right. See, that's what's lovely about abstract art. Is that you see things that not everybody could see. Guys, it's 3.30. Holy. Guys, 24 hour stream incoming. 
Also, keep in mind, if since I'm streaming the actual process, it will take longer. If I were to do this offline, I, I'd, be, I'd be speedrunning. Because what people don't realize when you're streaming, you have to worry about like a million other things. Like, i.e. your chat room, your actual stream. Make sure you're being entertaining and talking. Yeah, they are just playing the sound of- I noticed that too. Bod watchers in shambles right now. Because they can't hear the songs. They're just watching like, what the heck is Chad talking about? I mean, I don't expect VODs for this channel to perform well. Because I feel like for art streams, you're, you're there just for the vibe. I think, genuinely, if I was a follower of this channel and I didn't catch the stream, I would just get to the end and just see the final, like, 30 minutes, maybe, of, like, final touches and shit.
I think any Bowser's theme is always going to be good. Because there's always such a sharp contrast of edge. Because the normal, like, bass Mario music is usually pretty happy and cheery. You know, earlier I said, man, I don't know if people are going to get channel points in this channel if I ever get them. I genuinely thought I could get this done in two hours. I didn't realize how much focus I have to have for these lines. Like, I'm genuinely surprised. So thank you guys for sticking around for the long haul. Oh, wait, Mac, you asked about Founders Badges earlier? Yes. Since this is a separate channel, if it does get affiliate, the first 10 people to subscribe will get a Founders Badge. That is true. I remember I saw that question earlier and then I forgot. <laughs> Oopsie. That's the ultimate flex? Yeah. A Founder's Badge. So a Founder's Badge is, um, it's a, it's a per, it's a pink badge next to your name and it goes to the first 10 people to, who subscribe to newly affiliated channel. They're very rare to see them in chat. I think, I'm trying to think it was Founder's Badges in my channel. I think the last person to get a Founders Badge was Scootish. Like, if you guys know Aslan in chat, Aslan has a Founders Badge. I think Cutely has one. I think Rainy might have one. Emmy has one. I better get one here, yeah. I mean, if we have more than 10 people watching on the first affiliate stream, you guys might have to fight for it. I don't know, we'll see. Oh, I can't wait until these letter grows go in. I'll push someone out of the way to get mine. That's the spirit we want to hear. <laughs> And, oh, I think Downs has a Founders Badge as well. Because on my first affiliate stream on my main channel, I think I had five subs. 
No, I had 10 because I gifted myself 5. Because I did a Mario Kart challenge to where if I don't get first, I gift the sub. And I didn't get first 5 times. So I think I had... I had 5 people subscribe. No, I got gifted. I can't remember. I have to look back at the first page of my subscriber journal. We can look at that later. Oh, wait, chatters. We need to talk about what we want to do for thinking followers and subs on this channel. What do we want to do? Because I know in the main we have calligraphy journals for both, but I want to do something here or something different on this channel. For followers, I was thinking of doing um, like a big sheet of butcher paper and then I write people's name in like really nice ink calligraphy. And then for thinking subs, uh, I don't know what we can do. Cause I, I like, I like really calligraphy cause like it's a nice chill way to end stream, but like art streams are usually pretty chill. Paint the names, dude. That would be hell. Y'all are seeing me doing lines, dude, doing letters would be insanity. Like genuinely. <laughs> the Bowser's music plus you talk about the Founders badge makes it seem like there's a war coming. Maybe. Maybe I'm subtly warning you guys. Dude, I wish you guys could see this in person. This looks lovely. Plotus, what if I don't sell this one and I keep it for myself? <laughs> Would you guys get mad? Type 1 if you'd get mad. We can make a pack to reserve our spots. I mean, you would just have to be there for the first affiliate stream. Which I would obviously clickbait and promote like crazy. I'm gonna be like, people pog, wow, first affiliate stream. You know what I wanted to do as a gag for my titles? You know how today's stream is titled first stream? What if I titled every stream like second stream, third stream ever? <laughs> would, would that be a stupid gag? Because I don't know how many viewers coming in are people who don't know me. Because I don't think many people explore the art tab. Especially someone who has a follower-only chat like me. The reason why I have a follower-only chat is because I don't have mods on my main channel or this channel. So it's just for my protection. I also don't want to get follow it. so. That'd be sad to be the 11th. Yeah, I think Issa was my 11th subscriber, so they got robbed. They complain about it all the time. <laughs> They're like, peace and can't you just give me the badge? And I'm like, no. You found me too late, little one. Make it a secret stream? No, I can't. <laughs> I can't do a secret stream. Dude, what if I made my first affiliate stream a sub-only stream? That'd go crazy. Hi, I'm new here. Welcome in, buddy. <laughs> nah, you can only do sub-only streams if you stream for X amount of time. So no way a new affiliate can do sub-only streams, or do I? You have to hit eligibility. If you're curious about what specific parameters you need, there is a Twitch help article that explains it all.
I have a question for my chatters who are subs. Do you use my emotes in other people's chat rooms? If so, whose and what context do you use them? And raid messages don't count, because obviously you would use my emotes if it, it was part of a raid. Because one of my main things about emotes is that they have to be versatile. You have to use them in multiple contexts. Like, they shouldn't be too niche to where it would only make sense in your chat. I try not to punch people in other people's chat rooms. I mean, like, all my emotes, you goof. Use them to laugh and such. Yeah, Peace Like 2 Snicker is pretty solid. I, I agree in that. But the Peace Like 2 Snicker was a default animation. Sorry, I'm texting my sister. Do you choose what time you get affiliate? No. <laughs> no. You have to, um... Wait, there's a command. Yeah, because affiliate need 50 followers, average three viewers, which will probably hit average three easily because, you know, we have most of my regular chatters here from the main channel. Uh, but 50 followers is probably going to take a month or two. So like it says in the command, the best way to support is just to follow my offline content and then all that shit. You don't watch other streamers? Sag. Didn't you say, Kobobo, you watch other small people? So will it be like at midnight? No, because um, what happens is once you hit those specific numbers, Twitch sends you an email and then you sign contracts and then you're eligible. Like you have to get your payment info and stuff set up and then you can start earning. Usually it can take up to like a day or two once you get your average in or your average and follower count in. Everyone follow or else. Or else we'll never get affiliate. That's what Kobobo means, of course. Do you promote art on your art TikTok? No. Or I guess on my main account I should, but I don't know. I don't, because, like, all my posts on my... Because I technically have three TikTok accounts. One is my main, which is PSN17, which I tag in all of my um, clips accounts, or all my clip videos. And then I have my clips account, PSN70 Clips, and then I have my art account, which is PSN underscore art. Because, like, I want to have everything separate, because with TikTok, you have to make sure all your posts are in a similar enough niche because if a regular follower sees a video that's not in that niche, they're more likely to unfollow. You have a main account? Yeah, it's tagged in every single TikTok I post. Uh, Sorry, that sounded really rude. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, that, I'm sorry. That generally, my tone is really rude. I'm sorry. My, my sister is texting me. She's probably annoyed 
because I did, I do sheets on Monday and I didn't put her sheets on her bed before I started stream. So, oopsie. <laughs> totally my fault. Not I'm not blaming you guys. It's my fault. I'm I'm just projecting. You know, I'm showing my emotions. Uh anyway, you have to keep stuff separate. Like I said, because if your current followers see videos that are not in a certain niche that they followed for, then they're going to unfollow or not interact with the post. Prime example. The reason why my engagement, i.e. comment, like count is pretty consistent is because the main videos that have done well or popped off for me were Mario Kart clips. And since I still post Mario Kart clips, people are still going to engage with those videos. Versus, if I posted a clip about Hello Kitty merch, and that popped off, and then I didn't post anything about Hello Kitty again, people would unfollow because they're like, I followed for Hello Kitty merch. But all I'm getting is Mario Kart clips. What is this? So with TikTok, the algorithm is very aggro in the sense that you have to make sure all your content is very similar. It can make or break your account, yes, but... It's because TikTok does not encourage creativity, as seen in like all the trend videos that do well. People just doing the same joke over and over again does well. Okay, this is going to take all goddamn day. You know what? I'm here for that. Oh, I just realized it's my lunch time. That's why I'm getting cranky. I, I should get a snack after this. When I'm done with this gray, I'll get a snack. Would it be bad if I ate chips on stream? Or is that too loud? He said two chips. <laughs> Should we make a piece I two eating emote? No, I feel like people would use that to call me fat. Never mind. Nix that idea. No, this is Animal Crossing music with rain sounds, I think. Or wood sounds. I kind of want to skip this song playlist because I want something a bit more upbeat. Thoughts? Because it's a bit too mellow for me. I need something to get me going because I need to work faster. You know, I am an Amazon employee. No time off task here. And no unionization, apparently. No. Nope. No, sir. No way, Jose. What's up time at? Jesus Christ, four hours, holy. Okay, chatters, how much should I charge per hour of painting? What do you guys think is fair? Because I'm technically an unskilled worker. <coughs> no, it's a skilled task, but I'm not like two cents. Ha, ha, ha.
it, like, I don't have, like, a degree or anything. Like, you know, if you look at a plumber. 30 an hour? Holy. Dude, Cobalt was rich. Oh, okay, I'm not gonna give my opinion. I need more. What do you guys think? A lot. I was, I'm thinking of the song, A Lot. I don't know the lyrics, so. All I know is, like, a lot. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> you were about to say 50? Dude, Koba, but you're insane. Like, like I said, like, I'm not skilled in the sense of I don't have an established name for myself. Holy 50. At least 350? Yeah. Serious answers only. Like, you know the trend where it's like, wrong answers only? I want serious answers only. And I'll tell you guys my answer at the end. Any art heads in chat? Who are you selling to? Your mom? Easy. I don't know, TBH. Uh, good answer. You don't really know the price of art? That's the issue with art, because it's all subjective. Because usually the artists will make their own prices. There is, like, an industry standard to some capacity, but it depends on, like, how many years you've been painting for, your overall influence, if it's an original or a print. There's a lot of factors. 5 times 50 is 250, yeah. You also have to take in account, like, how big it is. Like, if I did this on, like, uh, like a 4 by 8, this would be done, like, by now. Because, like, materials honestly don't cost that much. Like, materials cost, like, the most expensive thing is going to be the actual canvas, which is, like, 5 to $10, depending on the size. But if you're talking about, like, actual paint material, it's going to be, like, max, like, $5. 5 to $10 cap. I think, because, like, the, the standard rate for any, like, skilled labor is 20 to 30. And that's, like, entry-level rates. Like, when people sell to museums, if a museum is buying a piece for, like, to own or keep or, like, rent for an exhibit, one painting can go for, like, thousands. Because at that point, it's a collector, right? Especially for originals. That's why I told you guys I'm only selling originals. Because the what I want for my pieces, I want them to be collectibles. Because prints are a really good way to make money and passive income. But I don't want that to be my income. Because when you do prints, it kind of... with I think if I did prints, it would make me devalue my work. Because you know how earlier I went on the side tangent about, like, how a physical piece is so much different than, like, digital art? Same thing goes for prints. Like, if you have a print, you're not going to feel the texture of the paint. You're not going to get the same glimmer with the mica powders. Oops, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> um, because when you're paying for a skill... You're paying for all the years it took for a said person to learn the skill. That's why plumbers can charge $300 an hour. Because they have to take into consideration the college or the, or the um, trade school they went to, right? But artists, since most people didn't get formal training, like i.e. didn't go to art school or take a class, it's very much self-taught, they undervalue their work. So that's why if you're just starting out in the scene, 20 to 30 per hour is pretty standard. Especially if it's an original. 
So something like this, I would do 25 an hour. I've been debating getting prints. Go for it. Like, prints are obviously more accessible. And they're really good if um you want a lot of people to have your art. Because, like, if you think about it, the more people who can buy your art, the more people who will potentially spread your name by word of mouth. So prints are very beneficial in that factor. Like, like if you go to any convention, not very many people sell originals. They'll sell prints. Okay. I know on IG, the picture, you can't tell the difference between the grays. They all look black, but I promise there's a huge difference, okay? Dude, I should have started streaming earlier. I also need to get a snack. Holy. Okay, it's gonna cool those up. I like print still, yeah. Yep. Coming along. We'll see. Can you guys see the different grays? Ooh, we can see see that color shift? Holy, that looks beautiful. So the lighting is different in my room now because it's in the evening. Ooh, look at that. Thoughts out of 10? I love putting random stuff on my walls. I'm the complete opposite. I hate putting shit on my walls. Because I get scared of shadows. Not the dark. It's the shadows I'm scared of. The evening lighting. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Okay, well, I, I have to get a snack and use the bathroom. 10 out of 10. Thank you, Cokes. I was just going to say, if I don't see any 10s, I'm going to end stream and delete the channel. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to get a snack and use the bathroom. And we've been live for four hours, so I think everybody else should do the same. We're going to pause the painting timer because we can't scam our potential collector. So we're going to stop the timer. Um, Everybody get some water, get a snack. No ads. But while I'm gone, I'm going to have email-only chat just to make sure nobody fucks around and finds out, okay? Anyway, I'll be right to back eat. Yeah, everybody spa spam your favorite emotes in chat. Wait, I should have a little paper that says BRB pissing myself. No, no, it should be BRB so I don't piss myself. Come on, give me like one Keck W. That was funny. Give me a Keck W or some shit. Where's Batty? Batty would give me a Keck W. <laughs> Sad G. Oh, wait, should I? Okay. I'll put on Mac's song that they wanted to make it better. There you go. Have fun.
have bad news. My sister's taking a bath, so I can't use the bathroom. I'm really mad right now. Yeah, this does go crazy. Play it again? I'll play it again. Why are you saying let's go? I just said I'm like, I'm literally gonna piss myself. <laughs> I didn't say it, I implied it. But you know what? I have McDonald's. Because yesterday I convinced my sister to get McDonald's. And it worked. Okay, one more time. I want to listen to it. If there ever is a piece in underscore 17 meal at, meal at McDonald's, it'd be no drink, because I don't need to drink sugary drinks. Um, It'd be a double quarter pounder with just ketchup and mustard, but extra ketchup. And then a medium fry. And maybe a frosty, because I'm going to renag on that sugar shit. But I have a triple cheeseburger right now. Is it weird that I eat it cold? I prefer McDonald's hamburgers cold if I can't eat it fresh. Oh yeah, McFlurry's pretty solid. Wait, dude, I got scammed! This only has two patties on it. Dude, we paid an extra dollar for a triple cheeseburger and I got a double. What the fuck? McDonald's. I need to go talk to their manager. <laughs> Lemon, I know you're RPing, but you said puddle time. And I thought it was a joke about me not using the bathroom. <laughs> Hearing them. I mean, it was DoorDash. So I guess we could request like a refund or something or a credit. I'll have to tell her later. Sometimes I feel sad. Ordering fast food through, like, delivery. But then everything is so far away from our house. Okay, we're not playing it again. I don't want chatters to lose their mind. There you go. I can relax? No, yes, you can. You're allowed to. Yeah, I'm just stalling so I can use the goddamn bathroom. We technically have a one and a half bath, but the half bath is connected to my parents' room, and it's literally filled with junk, so it's unusable. Like, they turned off the plumbing to it years ago, and they always bitch at us. We're like, oh my god, I need to take a piss, and it's like, yeah, but you guys have the bathroom that you choose not to use. Honestly, brain dead move on their part. Why would they do that? Brain dead move. <laughs> it's the nicest way of saying it. And even then, it's a bit harsh. You know, fast food is designed to make you addicted to it. Like, I could eat McDonald's every day and be happy. But I know you shouldn't do that because that is so goddamn unholy. And, like, the patties they use for the quarter pounders taste different. Like, they taste so good. I don't know what the difference is, but it's so good. What did I miss? I went to use the bathroom, but I can't use it because somebody else is using it. And now I'm sad, so I'm eating McDonald's. Hashtag not sponsored.
Um, you know the cliche joke where people will, like, <clears throat> be talking mid-sentence? And, like, let's say they're about to, like, put the pizza in their mouth. Like, it's in their mouth, and then they take it out of their mouth to say something before they take a bite. That's how my sister eats, and it's so funny. And she doesn't do it, or she doesn't realize she's doing it, too, and it's so goddamn funny. Yeah, Coach, you missed the song. They did go crazy. You missed it. I remember when I was younger, my grandma would tell me, any food she got, she's like, every bite, he needs to chew at least 20 times. 20? So she's she takes so long to eat her food. It's crazy. Cause like I don't I don't chew food very much, like I'll just guzzle shit down. But imagine chewing twenty times per bite. I mean keep in mind she's very healthy for her age. Maybe it's because like her digestive tract has to work less, maybe. I'll make a deal. When I use the bathroom, I'll play the song again. Handshakes? Wait, it's... Yeah, it's upside down. Okay, well, now I can't take my full break. I guess I'll go back to work. <clears throat> Hi, Rainy. Welcome in. Thank you for the follow as well. I appreciate it. People, hey! Yeah, I'm so mad at my sister right now. Okay, back to work. This is typical Amazon not letting me take my piss break. We are waiting for the countdown of what? <laughs> the only timers for how long? He takes me to finish the piece. Oh, follower only? It says you followed an hour ago. I have 10 minute chat on. Oh, okay, good. I thought I fucked up and put like one day chat or some shit. I've done that accidentally one time on the main channel. It was a big piece I to L. Dude, my sister told me five minutes. Okay, fine. Oh, this gray is super light. Oh, you're playing multiverse? That sounds fun. How does ranking work? I know I watched you play for like 30 minutes your last stream, Rainy, but I still don't get the game. It's just like Smash. But not as fun to watch. You gotta punch her. No. No, you guys were like, oh my god, just take showers. Just take showers. She really, she's still gonna take the same amount of time if she takes a shower. Oh, there's no ranked? Oh, so it's just random. Okay. I'm surprised there's no ranked yet. So feel free to chat, lurk, whatever makes you happy. That takes longer? No, you don't know my sister. And you shouldn't know her. <laughs> she will take the same amount of time to take a shower. She crazy.
I was thinking about my stream schedule, and I was like, you know, I can still do my normal Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Maybe I could do an evening art stream throughout the week. No shot. If a simple painting like this is going to take me goddamn hours, no shot I can do that. I, I think I basically have to set aside a whole day for art stream. Which is fine, which was the plan anyway, but... I, I want to do like two a week, but I... I like, my target is one stream a week, and then my goal is two. I think if I do art streams, I have to start them early in the morning. Maybe like 9 or 10, even. Which I'm fine with starting earlier, but... <clears throat> Like, that's a-okay. I just don't like streaming too late. Did y'all see that my light just flickered? This is so cool. Whoa. What's cool? Oh, the painting? Oh, thank you. Also, shout out to the people who have been here, like, all day, basically. Thank you, chatters. I think we had Mac, Cokes, and Batty, who have been here, like, basically all day. So, thank you, guys. It's nice knowing that no matter what I stream, people will watch. So, genuinely, thank you to the regular chatters. And lurkers, too. Thank you. I think Sylveon is here for the start, too. Or Slyveon. Do you have smaller canvases? Yes, but my goal is to work big. Because, one, I can charge more. And I feel like with big work, it's a lot easier to, like, move your whole body with your emotions. Because when you work small, you're... It's harder on your hands. But day off for you? Nice. Is P-side to gasp enabled? No. Because the follower only emotes only work in the streamer's chat room, not outside of their chat, which is a big sag. <laughs> because the whole point of follower emotes is to get, um, like more people active in your own chat room, and also it indirectly encourages people to subscribe to get the regular full sub emotes. That's why they added them. Guys, it's been 10 minutes. How is she not done? I was hoping we could play Quilt of the Lamb later, but I don't think we'll have time. I'm genuinely not up for a midnight stream today. My doc says I should be in bed by 9, but last night I went to bed at 11. Oopsie. Oh, sad. Yeah. I wish you could use file remotes everywhere, but like I said, it's just to encourage people to subscribe normally. I was genuinely kind of nervous for today, because I figured I'd have a few people watching, but we had a lot of people in the first hour. 
which I was really surprised about. So thank you, everybody, who's been hanging out. If you just came for a little bit or have been watching the whole stream, thank you. Um... I'm glad people will enjoy whatever I do. Like, I'm really, I really appreciate having that level of support. Because I was thinking about it. And I was like, man, streamers can do, like, the silliest things and the viewers will watch, like, whatever they do. But then I was like, I will literally watch any Hassan stream. <laughs> like, I am such a goddamn simp. A wholesome simp, mind you. Because a big thing when it comes to streamers or streaming in general is your personality and how you present yourself. I think that's a big tell to where if you stream yourself, don't be scared to do what you want to do. There will always be someone who will support you. Hi, Titans. Welcome in. Can we get some peace ITOs for Titan's first time chatter? Wowee. I'll watch anything you do. Or anything you stream, I mean. Kind of sus mods. Keep an eye on Kobobo. Acting a bit weird. <laughs> yeah, who are these chatters? Wild. A lot of chatters on a first time stream? Crazy. But welcome in. Feel free, chat like whatever makes you happy. We vibing. Dude, I'm still so mad. Why did I think I could get this done in two hours? Am I actually insane? Who are you people? Who make you low? <laughs> but I'm glad you could stop by today, Titans. Anything to distract me from working in midterms? That's what we want to hear. Or you should just keep the stream on in the background as, you know, white noise. I know some chatters were working on homework earlier as well, so. I think the main appeal to the art streams is going to be, you know, lurk and chill. Enjoy the music. Ask questions and chat occasionally. Holy! Okay, guys, I have to go. <laughs> the restroom is available. Okay, as promised, we're stopping the timer. Remind me to start the timer if I forget to later. I can't gift 90 subs, but you can gift to the main channel. And then I'll write your name tomorrow. How was I going to do? Oh, yeah. Um, emote only chat cause, so we don't get any weirdos. And as promised, here's the song again. Oh, wait, wait, hold. There you go. Have fun, chatters. All right, back. Oh, okay. I painted here. Got it. I have to mark where I painted last because the grays are way too similar.
perfect timing. Okay, now you guys can talk. I decided anytime I have to leave screen, it's going to be email only chat. I was thinking about it. Because, like, I saw in a few other people's streams, like, small and big stream, and, like, just, the, like, recently. Like, chat gets fucking weird when the streamer's not on screen. Especially if I don't have mods, I'd rather just have emote mode if I'm not on camera, so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, art kind of goes crazy on Twitch. It's not nearly as dead as it used to be. Which is good for me. Mod me now. Nice try. I'm not looking for mods, so. And also, just, like, I'm very meticulous with what I want. I'm also really aggro. Like a... <laughs> Rainy can tell you. <laughs> Can't believe you don't trust me. Why would I? I don't trust anyone. I got trust issues. Odyssey music. Oh wait, I wanted to try and find Eastward music. I'll find it after I'm done with this shade of gray. Okay, my paint is dried. Yeah, I, I just feel weird about, like, modding anybody. Because I know when I mod for channels, I feel like this weird obligation... To feel like I have to be in every stream. To where I have to be on, like, red alert at all times. It's very, like, a stressful thing. Like, I, I obviously took it way too seriously. And I don't want anybody to have that stress unless I can compensate them to some capacity. Like, I don't believe anybody should volunteer their time for no pay. Would you ever trust full? No, I literally would never. Because I'm too heavy. <laughs> I would squish the person I'm falling on. I don't think I've ever done a trust fall exercise. I don't even trust myself to catch me if I fall and they... Like, if I fall and they miss, I would not be able to catch myself. And then I would crack my head open and die. Would you ever trust Stan? What is that? I've never heard of that. Is that where you just stand next to each other and hope you don't touch each other? I was trying to make a harassment joke, but that didn't land. I'm sorry. Would you ever trust Handshake? No, I. it's pandemic still. I might be immunocompromised. So no. I ain't touching nobody. You know what's weird? When we went on the house tour, because it was obviously their house, but I was the only person wearing a mask, and I felt weird. Like, once I mentioned that I was disabled, they were like, oh, okay. Like, they didn't give me any more weird looks, but it was still, like, weird. But, like, I was obviously the person playing PR. Like, I was doing most of the talking. But, um... Like, they weren't too off-put about it once I mentioned that I might be disabled, so... <laughs> PSA to what? Yeah. My only concern about the property is that it has stairs. Like, there's stairs to get to the door... And then to get to the bedrooms. So. 
like, as we were doing the tour, like, I was scared that I was going to fall down the stairs. And, like, they're wooden stairs, too. They're not carpet, so you can't be wearing socks on those stairs. Like, that was the only negative thing. Everything else was super positive. But like I said, Chatters, don't get your hopes up. That's not set in stone just yet. Wait, and start my timer. Nobody reminded me. Guys, you're trying to scam me. Loud two floor? No, I, I didn't leak what it is. Like I said, it's not confirmed. What if the stairs lead to an attic? The stair chair. <laughs> Yeah, I think I need one of those. <laughs> or what if it's a basement? You guys don't know. At my grandma's house, she has a basement. So, like, after... Or no. Like, her second store was, like, underground because her house was on a hill. So my grandpa, after he had a stroke, he wasn't able to go downstairs at all. And, like, they couldn't install, like, one of those stair chairs because it was, like, a basement, essentially. Yeah, you can know. I'm explaining. What if the stairs lead to me do it? I think Titans is hitting on me. Mods keep an eye on them. <laughs> you could put carpet on the stairs? Yeah, I guess. Oh, another negative is that they're not allowing pets. Big Sag. So, no PSI 2 rabbit cam. I mean, it's fine, because, like, pets are expensive anyway. If we don't have to include it in our budget, then it's saving a couple hundred bucks a month. So, I don't mind. It's just my sister was upset. Oh, you might have a partner. Ooh. Hey, yo. Congrats. Just pretend the pet is a human five head. <laughs> you guys are dumb. Do you think we could pull, fool them? Type one if you think we can fool the landlord. Yeah, like, what is... Nope. Not saying the joke. Not to brag, but they don't think I'm completely insane. <laughs> That's a plus. Ow, plop. Sorry, I hit my chest. Wait, what were we typing one to? I, f I forgot what the question was. Lamo. Must have not been important. Oh, wait. Type 1 if you think I can fool my landlord. That was it, right? This chat is so gay, yeah. Type 1 if you're gay. Abstaining. A, my landlord kicks me out of the house stream and goes hard. Dude, that's what we could title the last stream in this house. My parents kicked me out. Not clickbait. That would go crazy.
Dude, imagine how many subs I could farm. Guys, sub, I got kicked out. Yeah. We could title it. My parents kicked me out. I need rent money. Subscribe. Hashtag sub for Fiat Prime. There you go. Easy title. Mods, write that down. I would like to clarify, anytime I say mods do blank, I'm literally trolling. That's a Mizkif joke. Like, that's one of his go-to bits. But I don't have any mods. So, and if anytime there's an issue in chat, I usually handle it quietly. I don't bring attention to it usually. <sighs> Sabotaging my live stream. <laughs> It would be a good sequel to So I Got a Pet Stream. Oh, true. Is the landlord nice? Yes, they are very nice. I made them deviled eggs and they texted me and they said they loved it. He said these be stinky. No, they were good. Remember I told you guys I used avocado filling for some? They're really good. Guys, should I be a chef? Type one. Okay, these lines are going to be interesting when they start colliding. Like here. It's going to look lovely. <laughs> look at you going the extra mile. It's because they're they're family friends. So... That's as much as I can leak. What are you going to bring next time? Well, they need to return my Tupperware first. That's the rule. Anytime you loan somebody something, you can't make them something else until they give it back. <laughs> Nepotism, I'm joking. Good clarification. I mean, honestly... It's the harsh reality, but the only way to succeed, like, the people who do see ample success is through some form of nepotism. It's all about who you know, baby. That's why you have to be kind to everyone. Got it, chatters? Life rule number 369. Be kind to everyone. Because you'll never know when you'll see them again. I thought I leaked that already. I love nepotism. It's based. Yes. I agree. In return, I didn't get hired for a job because of nepotism. And because I'm a woman. They they told me, like the person who got hired, they told me like, oh yeah. Um, They didn't hire you because they wanted a one male on staff. And I was like, what? I was like, huh? And also, the person that got hired was the the manager's son. So that was a double whammy. But you know why they got away with it? Because it was a church. So, yeah. I freaking hate how churches have such freedom in the States. Like, they can literally do whatever the fuck they want, basically. It's, it's messed up. I think SM3D World has some of the best music. Prove me wrong. Have you heard 64? I have. But SM3D World is simply better. I, we, we literally played the whole SM64 soundtrack, like, 30 minutes ago. Dude, it feels so weird not running ads. I think it's another, like... It's hard for me to keep track of time. Because when I'm doing my normal streams... 
I also have, like, my monitor in my peripheral, so I'm able to keep track of time a bit better. But here, since I don't have to do ads, I can just stream as long as I want with no demerit. Only demerit being maintaining an average, which is fine. I understand it'll take time to reach an average. So I'm not too concerned about that right now. My main thing I gotta do is get followers. So if you're watching and you're not following, follow the stream. And then you can chat and have fun with us. Just run ads, man. I don't think you can run ads on your offline chat. I tried it before for a goof, but I don't think you're able to. The command doesn't work. That would be funny, though. Because I think it'll be easy for me to maintain an average of three viewers on this channel. Just because I have significant crossover already from my main. It's just going to be getting 50 followers. Which isn't a lot when compared to other platforms when they're being eligible for monetization. But 50 followers on a new channel is really difficult to gain. I mean, you guys saw, we only... Nope. We gained 20 followers in the month of September on the main channel. When that already has an established, like, audience. So we'll see how this channel does. The best way to support on this channel is be active in chat and watch the streams. Simple as that. I love the offline chat, yeah. Mac is usually in my chat room for, like, sometimes an hour before stream. So, like, I get to chat with Mac one-on-one. -on -one. But what if we're active in main when it's offline, too? You guys could do that, but I have my chat room emote-only mode, so you could just spam emotes. I mean, I mean you could play Pictionary, I guess. Making me look like a simp, but you are. You literally are. Yeah, because I usually set up for stream, like, connect all my tech and do tests about an hour before. Oh, you can't- Lamau's a vlog term. Lamau. Just add an extra- oh, it should work. <laughs> Mac is simping? Yeah, obviously. Mac was my top gifter until Kobobo arrived, so I think that should tell on its own. Yeah, I usually unlock chat when Mac shows up. Usually if I see a chatter in the chat room, I unlock it, if I know them. I think Hacker was in my offline chat yesterday, before stream started. I was like, whoa, you beat Mac today. I don't know how to do offline chat. You just chat as normal. Usually if it's in like the pre-stream chat, then I, I usually talk to people one-on-one. -on -one. But it's nothing too crazy. It's just like normal chat, except with no stream. If you look at any big streamer's like offline chat, there's usually always somebody chatting. Like Hassan's offline chat is pretty crazy. Like there are some chatters who just chat in the offline chat, but then not during the stream.
Okay, I'm gonna make the stroke thicker. Because we need to fill in some of this space. And when I say offline chat, I mean like the actual Twitch chat, not Discord servers. Because people will use the term synonymously. <laughs> 